Of course. The very set will pass. Listen, listen, sir. I, I am tired. <laughs> I, I, I am very hungry now. I need to eat something. No, 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 no. Ah. What is this? You don't see the road there, sir. There is nothing up here. You better keep your eye on the road before this hunger of yours make us lose sight of that heat. What's wrong with you? Why are you blocking my way? Hey! Sarah! Hey, Sarah! My eye! My eye! Sarah! What happened? What happened? My eye! Sorry, you brought me to my father. That's why I brought you to go see it. Yeah, yeah. Sarah! Okay, what's wrong? Sarah, what's wrong? Sarah, what's wrong? Sarah, what's wrong? So, Sarah! You have the guts to fight me in this village. This is not the end. I will deal with you. Yeah, Marcos! Come here. Send me back. You are with her, right? Ah, you are with that devilish girl. You connived with her to ha! fight me in this ha! village. Ha! Ha! No, no, ha! no. I, I don't know how. Uh, no, you don't know. I, I don't. Is it not Sam? Stephen now? I, 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 I won't. I, I'm trying to know if I can set my trap yeah, here. Marcus, you ha, want I don't to know if you can set I, your I, trap. I Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, it's me, it's me, it's me, why, why are you running? He is no longer coming, mm. it's you out. Listen, Sarah, 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 listen, you've got him, you've got him into trouble in the past, this one is a very big one. You see that guy? That guy will never rest until he will have his revenge on us. Mumu, let me ask you a simple question. Who is us? Huh? So if they call people we fight, if they say people that fought should come out, you go come spread, say you fight. Are you, are you? Yes, now. You that disappeared before I even sighted the shadow of that bloated cow. Ha! It's a lie. Because you were not there. Uh -huh. Did you not see my, my posing? I was preparing to deal with that idiot. What am I not saying? Anyway, I am happy I have gotten my own pound of flesh. The next time that fool is here, say, he will take off. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, me. Me take off. I be mad. Yeah. I really put my own shield of beating on him. I, 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 I really dealt with it. He did. He did. He did. That was what I did to him. Aww. He, he think I'm, I, 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 I'm crazy. Uh, in this village, no one, no one will ever lay his hand. I, I, I'd rather die than to allow any man hit you. Oh. I see. Oh, Marcos. Uh? Marcos. <laughs> My man. <laughs> Strong man. What are you saying? You know what? Close your eye. I want to kiss you to show you how much I appreciate you. Uh, mm. It's close, it's close. Bring out your mouth. <laughs> 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 yeah! Hey! Ah! <laughs> Mark, my phone, I cannot find it. Won't you at least say good morning to your mother? Uh, where are you going? In case your father wants to know. Where I'm going is none of your business. How dare you talk to me like that? Lutana, I am your mother. Save the same one for some other time. Lutana. 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 And what are you looking at? Sorry, my queen. Sorry for your miserable life. You low life that your parents have. Come back here. Come and look for this thing. Low 
life. That is why you are so poor that your parents cannot even feed you one square meal a day. Look for it before I lose my temper and get your miserable body out of my presence. Get out! Just, 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 just get out! Get out! Just a clown. Where are you at? Sir, come back here. Come, come back. Sit down. I won't have the word with you. You see, Sarah, your mother was a very beautiful, very intelligent, very wise, very quiet. She was the best. Within that very period I was with her, that short moment I was with her, she was the best thing that happened in my life. And then finally when she gave birth to you, I looked at the very beautiful girl my wife has brought forth. I said to myself, are you not the, the, the luckiest man on earth? Hey, it kept rotating in my head that I am the happiest man on earth. Papa, you have told me this story so many times. It is beginning to grow branches in my head. My head is full. I am tired. No, you don't have to be tired. I am repeating the story over and over again because I keep believing that somehow the story will begin to make some sense into you so that you will start to behave like a normal human being. What happened eventually? You know, when your mother's brothers brought you back, I said to myself that my wife has given me another her, that I found a replacement in my child, eventually I was very wrong. What happened? You grew up into a woman and you only took after your mother's beauty. What happened to the intelligence? What happened to the wisdom? Where is the calmness? What happened? Why are you not behaving like somebody who has who has who has a mother? Is it just because you 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 grew up in, in the south? What is this? To the extent that what you do now is to go about fighting in this village? Hey! What is hey? Hey! Hey, what? Hey! hey what is hey? Papa, so that idiot came back to report me to you. Oh, he has not learned his lesson. Listen, shut up and sit down. I said you should shut up and sit down. Papa, by the way, I have wisdom. I'm very intelligent. I am wise. Eh? It's just that these village people will not allow me rest. I walk, Sarah. I sing, Sarah. I do this, Sarah. Was it because I was not born here? If they won't allow me to have my peace, they will not also Let have Let me peace. just break it down before you start to kill the peace. Your husband-to-be and his people are coming to pay your bride price next weekend and take you home. Take who home? You. Who? Whose bride price? Your bride price, and they will take you home. If to say you know be my papa, I for say me you hold your two ear listen to me. Meaning? I will not marry that man. Papa, fathers are choosing eligible men, yeah. fine men, flashy men, yeah. as husbands for their children. Yeah. You want me to marry that old man? That old thing. I will not marry you. Listen to hey, come back here. People are busy marrying people that are flashy. 
Have you managed to flash anybody as a husband to be? Have you? The only man who has come to, you know, indicate interest in making you his wife is the same man we are talking about. And let me tell you something. You cannot say you will not marry him because you have married him already. Do you know how much this man gave me? Do you know how much he gave me as loan? Money you know that I don't have any more to pay. So this arrangement that he brought for you to become his wife and settlement for the money he, he gave me is very perfect. And I, the man we are talking about is very connected. If there is any mistake, he will not only take your father and he, he will take you home. Mm -hmm. So just prepare your mind because this arrangement he brought to make you his wife, to me, is very credible. That is the only way he can assist your father. So it is me, Sarah, that you want to blackmail emotionally. What's blackmail? It will not work. Papa, it will not work. You always say my mother is wise, intelligent, uh -huh. beautiful. Yeah. With all this intelligence, how did she choose you as a husband? You want me to marry that old man? I will not marry him, Papa. I will not. Sarah, I used to be very flashy. Oh. Yes. That's why your mother married me. Because I was a flash man. No problem. Mr. Flash, keep flashing. Yes. I will not marry And let me tell you, as you have refused to flash any man to me, to be your husband to be, I will flash you to the world that is available. Next weekend, to happen. You are going. As in going, going, gone. I want to go hang out somewhere and just chill and have some drink. You can join me if you wish. All right, I'm waiting. And the mind, and it's buried inside the thing. And what is the game? It is the royal game. The royal game. Your Majesty, this whole thing is getting out of hand. It's getting worse by the day. You needed to see the how rudely he spoke to me in the presence of the maid earlier today. That's ridiculous. Well, each time I see him, my heart loses a beat. I don't even know which one is worse. Seeing him in a bad mood or not seeing him at all. I've always said he needs help. Get him a counselor for him to heal faster. He doesn't talk to anyone apart from Uche. Uche is the only one he speaks to. Uche that is even worse than the problem at hand. As far as I'm concerned, I don't think he needs anyone or a counselor. All he needs is time. I've said this countless number of times. Majesty. Mm -hmm. Time? Yeah. How long? How long will it take? Where? Will it take eternity? This is almost three years now. He has not healed. Your Majesty, he doesn't want to see any of his family members. Whenever he is at home, he locks himself in his room. I want my son back, Your Majesty. I want the Lotana I know back. Can happen to a man. Understand how you feel, my dear. He will decide Please. to lock oh, up himself. He will decide to be my all alone. Boys. He will decide to speak to nobody. <laughs> if I catch that man, I mean it's your crap. If I catch that man. I will kill him without even thinking about it. Mm -mm. Uh, 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 uh. Before you even start, uh, I will send him to his early grave. Lele, my friend, go and, get, go, go and look for a rope and hang yourself. You go know. Because you are just as useless as that rat that just ran past us here. Who's that? Who's that? If one yan. If one yan. You are just as senseless as I thought. One name. Mm. More important issue, please. So you mean that old man 
He's still pestering your father. Mm -hmm. Over that little change, he lent him. Mm -hmm. Else, he will falsely take you as his wife. My sister, I don't carry water for my talker. I am not joking. The most frustrating thing is that that idiot told my father that he'll be coming to my house to pay my bride price next weekend. Ah! Ha! 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 So you did not tell your father that I will be coming to pay your bread price soon. Eh? Oh my goodness, Marcos, why don't you keep your keep quiet? Eh? Are you mad? You're putting me. Mm -hmm. you know? I I got him. Come on, don't do that again. I'll walk out for. Are you mad? You're going to go. You're going to do it. You're going to be mad. Are you mad? Sit down. Ha ha. Try it again. Sarah, what do you do about this? Yo. My sister, I don't know, but God knows uh, I will not uh, marry that. That is my yeah, Listen, listen. We are not going to fight you. Okay, it's a better way to come with this. My husband to be. My wife to be. My man. <laughs> my wife to be. I guess uh, your father will inform you of my proposed visit next week. Mm -hmm. In um, fact, that is what we want to talk to you about. Okay, well, what are the we? My yeah. friend and I. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 uh. What's going on? the floor. Oh, yeah, la. Mad, mad. What's the meaning of it? Mad, shut up, you hey. Mad, mad. Hey. mad you didn't work. Old man like you. Old man like you. Hey. Old man like you. Hey. Old man like you. Hey. See, Lutanga, you are my friend, my best friend, and I will always give you the best of advice. You need to take a chill pill. You are being too hard on your parents, and it's not fair. You can't continue like this forever. You can't. Listen, Uche. Whatever treatment my parents are getting from me is as a result of what they did to me. I will never ever forgive them and that's fine. See, Lutana, to err is human and the virtue of forgiveness is divine. You need to forgive them so that you move forward. And, and right now, your parents must hate me very much. They will think I'm the cause of everything that I'm not giving you the best of advice and I'm not comfortable with that, they see me as the only user you perfect with relate with. And it's not cool with me. They will think I'm stealing you away from them since you are with me right now. So what are you feeling like? Listen, stop feeling important. My mom never liked you. She knows you are a chronic womanizer. Uh, anyway, in that case, I don't even care. I don't care. Everybody mustn't like me after all. Everybody is entitled to his or her opinion. I, I don't care. Their problem is that they don't have taste. They don't. If they have taste, they don't like the type of structured, well-purified women I deal with. Can they don't you have just taste. Shut up. But see, on a on a lighter note, you need to visit Suki's. Oh. If you see the structured women there, you know sometimes I wonder if the women there are humans. I'm serious. I am not interested. You just shut up. Too many things can happen to a man. He would decide to lock up himself. He would decide to be all alone. He would decide to speak to nobody. That's the debtor. Fat title, that's Jezebel. That wicked girl that had the gods to allow me just because I am helping the family. But is your with another police? We have an agreement to reduce this to thread by butter. Thread by butter. So that you can come to this Look at my face. Look at my face. As your wife. And we forget everything. Your daughter, her friend. 
had the guts to 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 panel beat me to beat me mercilessly. Eh? What? Are you serious? I for geographer. She lifted my two legs off the ground. Who could have an arm then? Sarah! Sarah! You only fight in the force of gravity. Sarah! Officer, come here! Come here! Hey, hey, hey! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here. Have you seen it? No, have you not finished me already? You never pay you to have this man, this good man of our land, that has money to take you over as wife, so that everything will normalize. And you said no. You see, police is police from now. Have you seen police now? I'm not going already. Officer, no. officer, take him away. Wait, 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 in fact, in fact, I'm ready. Uh, next weekend, just just come with your people. I'm ready. I'm ready. Next weekend? Yes. Did you say next weekend? Yes, next weekend. Next weekend? Yes, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, you'll prove it to me. Um, you'll prove it to me. Um, mm. you prove it to me. <laughs> Let me know your answer. Young man, I know you have lost your sense of belonging. But certainly, not the sense of knowing the difference between dark and light. Do you know what time it is? Son, we've been so worried sick about you. I, I know you keep late nights once in a while, but come on, this is 1 a.m. Where have you been? I have been where I could get some peace without anybody asking me stupid questions like Why have you not eaten? Why did you lock yourself up? Why don't you walk around with your guards anymore? Why don't you dress like royalty? I am sick and tired of all those stupid questions. Watch your tongue, son. No! You let me have my space, father. Because you both know why I have become the man I am today. Stop acting like you care. Come on, son. Of course you know we, we care about you. I am always heartbroken whenever you sound this way. 
Are you serious? Heart broken. Your heart is five five percent broken compared to how mine was when I lost it all. I need to be left alone. Too many things can happen to a man. He would decide to lock up himself. He would decide to be all alone. Can you continue to absorb yourself of this blame? Don't provoke me, woman. Whatever it is, could be deeper than the mind. Could be deeper than the mind. And it's buried inside the game. I'm surprised you. I mean, who would us back a complete nonentity like this one in job? We continue to complete the letter. Wait, oh. And what did they say your job would be? A, a clown? Uh uh. Okay. Hey, come on. At least, okay, yes. We know Marco sometimes could be a pain in the ass. But at least give him some credit. He has some good sense of reasoning sometimes. No, 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 no. Be moron. Okay. Clown. Hey, look at this idiot. Progress. Uh, sorry, my queen. Uh, uh, I want to travel to Akoba in order to make enough money so I can come and pay your father's debt and, and then marry you afterwards. Oh. Uh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Mama! Mama! Ah, Mama! <laughs> Is next weekend. Uh, yes, yes, yes. And how long do you intend gathering this salary of yours to pay off the debts? I'm sure your new place of work won't pay you daily. You will do it. You will do it. No. No. You will do it. Do it. Let's just. Don't go. get out of there. I, I don't know what. See, I, I don't know. See, I don't know how. It's okay. It's okay. Let's just go. See how firm you held her. But if it's to fight now, uh, you will run. You will lose all your strength uh, even before the fight starts. I will hold her. Hey, God. Marcus, it's okay. Let's just go. Let's go. Uh, no uh, sense. Mbeche. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. My dear, the quietness in this palace scares me most times. Every day it seems as if you are marrying someone. Same routine, no parties or celebration whatsoever. What's happening? Just the other day, the queen almost tore me into shreds because I did not serve the prince his meal. Knowing fully well that anyone that dares enter his room is as good as dead. I don't even know if we are still safe in this palace anymore. You know, at times I wish that everything could go back the way it used to be. I miss that happiness, joy and, and, and peace we all used to have here. When you talk about happiness and laughter that used to be here, it all sounds strange to me. Because the faces I see here now don't seem like faces that have ever seen smile before. Mm. Mm. I think the cook knows everything. Yes, she knows everything. 
The last time I asked her, she said she would never say a word to anybody. Mm -hmm. That she would never tell the story to anybody. Yes. Mm -hmm. That they were warned never to tell the story to anybody. I wonder. Honestly, you baffled me. <sighs> so bad. The prince seems really nice. The other day I heard him talking on the phone with somebody. For the very first time in a long time, I heard him laugh. Really? And I was very, very shocked. Hmm. Also, last night, I dreamt that the king, I dreamt that. Too many things can happen to a man. He would decide to lock up himself. He would decide to be all alone. He would decide to speak to nobody. Whatever it is. Could be deeper than the mind Could be deeper than the mind And it's buried inside the game So of all the times to travel It is now that my father wants to marry me off to an old man that you decided to leave why? <laughs> This is why I have to leave quickly So that I can come back and marry you off eh? Doesn't what? your stupidity surprise you sometimes? Yeah, yeah. We both know that her marriage is in five days' time. You're here talking about to pay debt and come to marry her. See, let me tell you something. If she wasn't going to marry Che, she would have for that education. See, she can't be. Um, but wait, 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 Marcos. What, what were you thinking? That even if I don't marry Che, I would have married you. Of course, yes. Oh, oh yes, of course. Marcos. Uh, eh? <laughs> Marcos, <listen. laughs> I love you like a brother. Oh, uh, truly, I do. I know. I You're know. like the brother I never had. Oh, but I'll miss you, dearie. <laughs> <laughs> I'll miss you. Dearie. Yes. I, 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 have, I have a gift for you. Seriously? Yes. Uh, Who is one? It's enough. Just let me have my gift. Yes, 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 yes. Hi! This is from me to you. Of course. I have this one too. This is boot of life. <laughs> boot? Mm. My boot? <laughs> Bam! Hey! Of course! Yes, yes. <laughs> I, you know what? I, I, I have to give you this boot so that you will always remember me. Huh? Till I die, my course! Till I die, I will remember you. <laughs> hey! Boot? My boot? What? Hey! My Eh? I have to. I think Marcos likes you a lot. Huh? Sarah, what on earth are you doing with Marcos bag? Hey! 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 No, now, no! No! Hey! Hey! See, 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 the address to his new workplace. Mm -hmm. Hey, no, no, this is no. I have to run back to the park to see if I will still meet you. Yeah, Sarah! Please, let's go! Let's go! Hey, hey, hey! Iba Igwene? Yeah! Iba Igwene? Yeah! Iba Igwene's one of Yeah! yeah. <laughs> I am very delighted that a day such as this finally came. Mm. <laughs> the day when I am going to give out my one and only daughter out in marriage. Mm -hmm. To my very good friend, mm. <laughs> is she Okora, the only credible money lender of our land. Mm. Huh? Very reliable. <laughs> I, am, I am so delighted because I have come to the conclusion 
that my daughter will not be happier any other place other than the bosom of my very good friend. <laughs> 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 Tell them. Huh? But um, enough of this talking. Please, I want to see my wife mm. and take her home. Yeah. Yeah. Since all the marital rights have been concluded, oh, of course. you can see I'm, I'm getting impatient. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you don't have to be impatient. You can see how she is already here to confirm to you that everything has been concluded. So you come down, my very good friend. <laughs> Mama, okay. Please, help, and you can bring my daughter out. No time to waste anymore. So that we can start to drink. Yeah. I start to eat what they cook. Mama, I can do I I do Oh, she, she so much reminds me of her mother. Hey, oh. Hey, oh. Hey, oh. Hey, oh. Hey, oh. Please, it's your right. You are the head of the family. You fulfill your, your, your duties. The blue Maya, Kiwe, Zukani, Nena, John, no. that I know you have. Why are you not telling me what I want to hear? Because I know you are aware of where she is. Where's your friend? Where's your friend? Please, please, just go let it, please. Sarah, I don't understand what you're saying. Can you at least hear yourself out? Okay, if you cannot do this for me, then I can't call you a friend. Just, it's just to wear this, please. Sarah, you are complicating this matter. If you never wanted to marry this man, why agree to the occasion at the first place? Wait, wait, just bring your voice down. I, I did not agree to the occasion, I swear. 
That idiot broke me by bringing one useless officer here to arrest my father. I had no choice than to give in. Please, just, just help me wear this. I need to teach that idiot a lesson. By asking him to wear your marriage uniform and present myself as his wife, where does that happen? Okay, please. Please. Nothing will happen, I promise you nothing. I have to leave Akokwa right now to meet Marcos. Just wear this and present yourself as me. After that, I'm sure that idiot will leave my father alone. Please, please stop looking at me. Just go. Go. Okay, go. Okay, go now. Mama. Mama, mama, mama. I don't know where she is. Oh. I don't know where she is. If you don't want to say the truth, then shut up. Say you don't know the whereabouts of your close friend. After all that happened. Eh? Hey, listen to me, okay. I will leave. But I'm coming back. I don't know why you want me to kill you. Because I am very certain you have this information. Momoge, please, take your time and ask your daughter to explain where about of my daughter because I know she has that information. I am leaving now and I'm going to come back. When I am back here and you fail to tell me what I want to hear. <laughs> you are just crying because your mother gave you a, gave you a knock. By the time I will knock you with this my walking stick, the ground will open and swallow you. You call yourself okay. Let me come back and you are not telling me what I want to hear. You might not give you a book for real. I will kill you with my bare hands. If you don't say, if you don't tell me where his daughter is, I will kill you! Do you know the business I run here? It is called Brothel. And if I should break it down to you, it is cash and carry. Hmm? The only language and the only thing I want to hear now is money. When are you paying me my money, Aneta? Exactly why I'm here. I have a way I can start paying you back. How? There is a babe that came to Akopa. From my interaction with her, she's stranded and needs a place to stay. I am thinking that I should bring her to you so that she starts working for you. I will be paying her. You know, you start deducting what I owe you. So, where is the baby? Don't forget, always add it. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find her useful. I see. Beautiful girl. Chantel Allah! Chantel, you are the bomb. You didn't tell me you are this amazing. Man, where did you get that syndicate of genital tsunami? Man. This girl me water. Do you, you know this girl made me speak Korea? I didn't know I could speak Korea. Do you know what I spoke? Same to one time to one hour for Just shut up. What? Shut up. Did, did you just tell me to shut up, Chantel? You asked me to shut up. Are you crazy? Do you know who you are talking to? Do you know you are talking to us, baby man? You ask me to shut up. What is wrong? Are you crazy? Do you know what I can do to you? Why are you insulting me? What is your problem, man? So don't insult me. I'm just warning you. Mr. Arch, or whatever you call yourself, it's time to pay. 
You are not leaving here today until you pay up every dime that you owe. And in case you don't have cash, don't worry. We now have a solution. Hmm? This, our debit machine. So, just bring your card and start paying. If you really want to live here today. I owe back. Hold up. This is madness. Do you have the approval of the king? No, do you have the permission of the king of Akoba Kingdom to bring this bullshit here? So, this is, this is the estate it has gone. Now you have digitalized this business that men go about carrying debit card to pay for the bullshit. Huh? See, the king must hear this. The king must hear What? What is the meaning of this? And did you inform the king before coming here to shine free or show Can you, can you get your filthy hands off my, off my, 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 do you know how much I bought, I bought this? You cannot leave the, here today until you pay up every dime that you owe. What's your what? Why? You touched me. Leave my brother, listen to me. I have already instructed the bouncers to deal with you messages if you fail to comply. Is this one of the bouncers? Let me, man. See, you, you don't know how to speak. You are going no You don't know how to speak. Don't try me. Lotanya, your father will not be happy if he sees me in this position. Regardless of everything that is going on. Son, I don't have any other choice than to beg you to let everything go. Please forgive us. We are sorry. You see, we will try and do everything possible to right all our wrongs. Listen, son. I am hurting. Your father is aging and I'm getting weaker by the day. Please forgive us. I wish there was a way we could go through this life again on a different track. So forgive us. Please. Hello, Uche. You need to come here in 10 minutes time. If you don't come here in 10 minutes time, I am going to commit mass murder. I am going to kill because I am in the mood to kill. Are you okay? Where are you at? Amansuki. Where else will I be Amansuki? Man, see, you need to hurry up. I don't want to kill anybody. I am in the mood to kill. Alright, see you soon. What is going on? What is wrong with Uche? Is he okay? Too many things can, can happen to a man. He would decide to lock up himself. He would decide to be all alone. He would decide to speak to nobody. Be careful, son. Whatever it is, could be deeper than the mind. Could be deeper than the mind. And it's buried inside the game. Bros. Bros. This money where we did talk last month. You'll be fine, man. You wear shirt with stand, stash. Pay the money. Why are you did distress yourself? Why are you embarrassing yourself? Give her the money so you can go. Small money. Hey? Shantel. What is the meaning of this? Who is this classless idiot you brought here? You brought in this enclave that is insulting herself, thinking she's insulting me. What's the meaning of that? Oh, man, pay up your money and stop looking at another girl. Pay me my money. See, don't, don't shout. Don't shout on Watchman. Don't shout on Watchman. Oh, no, I'll, I'll deal with you. No, See, I'll, 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 I'll do something here. So, I did, I did, I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. I Father, this Osho Freeman here came to shag my doors. He's always coming here to shag them for free or on credit. Now I asked him to pay. He is telling me stories. Every day he will come here and shag for free. This is my office. This is my business. He should pay me. 
my money. It's okay, it's okay. Come on, come on. What is this girl talking about? This girl is stupid, Lotana. Tell them who Dutch baby is now. See, let me explain this. Man, you know, you know, you remember in biology, you know symbiotic relationship where two people are enjoying the same thing. That is the case here. See, this girl, I was giving them to them, giving it to them the way they like it. I was shagging them real good. They confessed to me that they love it. I, I, I'm a good customer too because once I come, I give it to them. They were not complaining. So what, what are you talking about? It's a symbiotic relationship. It's okay, it's okay. What are you talking? The money is thirty thousand, and for breach of contract, twenty extra thousand, making it fifty thousand naira. The fuck? What is she talking about? What are you talking about? Right. See, you are crazy. You see, Chantel, you are crazy. If not for my friend here, eh, I'll use. I'll, I'll, I'll kill you. Know you. What are you talking about? See, look at that. See the issue here. See the issue. When I was doing it to them, they were the people that practically requested for more. It's okay. Leave me alone. They had me leave me alone. Huh? Take your filthy hands off my Buddha hey, Chino. Hey, leave him. The prince said, take your filthy hands off my Buddha I should leave Leave me, man. Leave him. It's okay, relax. See ya. Hi. Oh my God. Stop now. So in a nutshell, we are talking about 50k, right? Bam. So all good. What I what I oh no now, Lotana! What I do do you want to fall for this cheap black veil? Oh, this is shameful. Okay. Forget shame, forget shame. You can't give them this money now. We like this is a symbiotic relationship. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Sir. You, you get this one. I got better, better girls for you. Come back, move my this move. You don't want to see my Who is this? Who is this bitch, man? I see, I'll kill somebody. I'll kill somebody here. I don't want to see you here again. Why are you asking me these questions about my client? Hmm? Yes. Your client. Hmm. How? Auntie, that man cannot be your client. It is written all over him. He cannot patronize this kind of place. What? What do you mean this kind of place? Are you not here for business? What business? Hey! Madam, listen, I am not a prostitute. No! My name is Sarah. A decent maiden from Nando. Our land of peace and progress. Don't forget. I am here to see my brother. Mmm. Mmm. So why did you bundle yourself to the place of my business? Madam, I did not bundle myself here. That woman that brought me here, I gave her 1,000 naira. 1,000 to bring me here. And she brought you here because she believes you can play. Listen up, my dear. There is no big deal in this. There is no big deal. You have what it takes to do this business. Look at your chest. Look at your bum bum. Look at your body. You are still intact. You will be on hot demand, baby. Give you a room at the fourth line. And in a few weeks' time, you'll be money. Give me information about that good man that came to build that idiot, that stupid man. If you can lead me to him, I'll give you an answer. Deal? Deal. Do we have a deal? Deal! Ay! Collect one. Ay! Hello. Hi. How may I help you? Boss. Is this not a bar? I am here to drink. Down with me. Listen, this is not just a bar. This place is called the Parliament. Exclusive bar here in Aqua for the high and mighty. I don't mean to insult you. You are not qualified to come in here. Now I'm ordering you to take your leave. Hi. 
réponse. At least, if you know, fear me. Fear my boots. See. I am here to see my boyfriend. My boyfriend is inside. Hey, let me pass. Who is your boyfriend? Is your boyfriend inside the parliament? My boyfriend is inside. That's the way you call. He's inside. If you don't believe me, go with me inside. You see him. Now, get out of here. Get out of here if I do something I will regret. The shots now. This month, I don't take the shots. Calm down. Hey! They are pure. Oh my God. Do, do you know women are God? Do you remember what the Bible says about the feeling you have when you are in the presence of God? That is the same feeling I had when I was with them. It just made me to come to a logical conclusion that women are God. Which can I tell you, son? Shoot. Common sense is not common. Oh yes, you heard me. Why are you choosing to be stupid? Huh? Can't you just learn? Can't you talk sense for once? What do you mean by women are God? What is your problem? Is it my fault that I... Uche. Uche. How did this thing get in here? Huh? You see... The way she's behaving, she looks like an ancestral spirit sent from your village to torment your life. Which should be serious for once. How did she get in here? Why are you asking me that question? Do I look like a relative? And to crown it all, she's smoking at me like, are you sure she's alright? I think she's into you. She likes you. I mean, for once. I mean, for once, man. God bless. This is... Parliament! Parliament exclusive bar! Give me something exclusive to drink! Exclusive drink! Which I told you, be careful. I'm going to get a model. Where are you going? I'm going to get a model. Where are you going? Come, I'm going to get a model. How did you manage to come inside here? Do you think I'm here to joke? Do you think I'm here to joke? You obtained me by trick. 
and I do not want to explore the legal options open to me. Why are you talking about legal options here? Does it mean you don't have human sympathy at all? It's my daughter that we are talking about that went missing. Ever since then, I have not set my eyes on my daughter. I don't know what has become of her. That your stupid daughter. How does that concern me? Look, by this visit, I have taken possession of that your collateral land. And by this time tomorrow, you'll be signing the documents that will enable me to sell that land and recover my money. How can you be thinking of selling that land which you could have for? You know it yourself that the land we are talking about is worth far more than the money that you gave me. So why are you thinking of selling the land? Tell that to the birds. I've made up my mind on that and that is final. If I return here tomorrow and you don't sign the papers, I will arrest you and you will rot in jail. What? Look at this man. Do you and that your stupid daughter think this is the way I run my business and, and I'm still staying in the business? Enough of this. Look, look at this. Enough of this. How can, how can, how can, how can you say about that? You stupid. Yeah, yeah, you're not one of the stupid. In fact, I am the one who is very stupid to have agreed to give my daughter to you. Are you qualified to, to marry my daughter? Look at you. From head to from, look at, from your head to your legs. Are you qualified to marry my daughter? No, he, okay, you have already warmed up to, to plug on my daughter. Ah, it's not possible. <laughs> what about all these old women and all these widows have been dating in this village? You thought we don't know? Now it's my daughter. Now say my poor. You still have the guts to talk to me. Now, nah. what will you do? What will you do? If I return tomorrow, you must rot in jail. Yeah. I will arrest you and you will rot in jail. Let your head open. Let your head open. We shall see. Let your head open. We shall see. <laughs> that girl is a real cloud. So all the while she was displaying those eye and leg movements, she was actually trying to uh, attract your attention. My brother, it was really, really funny and serious at the same time. <laughs> I was angry, but at the point she got me laughing. Did you see? She was behaving like some sort of baby and was being controlled <laughs> with the remote. Oh, that girl is fun. <laughs> you see, it was actually your 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 ancestors that you two were very angry. They intentionally sent that girl to put a smile on this your heart face. Oh, we should be saying, What did you drink, Terry? Oh, well, give me vodka, then. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Lutanda. Hey. <laughs> on eyes, remember? It's a breach of contract. And I can sue you for it. I hope you know that. Sue me for this? Yes, sue me. Because I know I'm a prostitute. Madam, clean this thing with your lip. What? Why are they talk nonsense? Why? Listen to me. You pleaded with me to help you locate the guy that came here to bear Arch Baby. And which I did. And with the promise that you're going to run shows with me if I assist you. Sarah. I kept to my own part of the bargain. I got, I went to the extent of getting a keke man that took you to the parliament and I'm certain you met the guy. Why then are you leaving? Why are you not keeping you to your own side of the bargain? Madam, I am leaving because I came to Akokwa to see my brother, I mean my friend, Marcos. I am here to see him, not to be a prostitute. Please, I need to go. Where is the The man that brought me back yesterday said he would help me locate the address. All I need to do is just to ring him online and he'll be here to take me there. I want to go. Hi. Sarah, listen to me. Listen, I want you to have a change of heart. They will think of leaving this business. Hey, you have only dates, you have everything my customers want. Just look at everywhere still standing. You have everything my customers want, Sarah. You are a beautiful girl. You are a pretty girl. Hey, see, I'm assuring you, I'm promising you once again. Hey, if you stay back here in this business and run shows with me, you're going to be one of the latest babes in town. You're going to be rich, as in very rich. Don't you want to have money? All drugs. Please, try again later. Oh, please. Please, please. You can do it. You're a beautiful girl. Thank you very much. 
I know sad fan. I forgot my mama bought me. I know sad fan. I leave me alone. Are you just feeling like that? Address when I give in at the hospital. Just now, here my brother at the work. Mm, Madam, I don't know your brother and I don't know where in the work, but that address will show me at the place be this. Obi is maze of our cock and I place be this. Hey! Hey, Madam, let me see. Okay. Back us up, catch big fish. Wait, I'm not going catch big fish. Yeah, give my money, Madam, go ahead. Yes, no best. I will pay you. Ah, ah. My goals. Hey! Ah, ah. Hey, Madam, hey, Madam, wait. Ah, wait a minute, this. Eh? My What's money is 500 naira, they give me 300. Oga, okay. don't allow your village people use you shine this afternoon. No. Now me, you are carry play. I'll be that short place where you carry me come from. Now they charge me 500 because I know no road. Something. I said, Chris, there you are. Which kind of talk? Oga, okay, let me blow you. Blow, blow it. Oga, okay, I will kick you. Hey, kick fire. I will kick hey, you. Fire. Okay, give me my boots. What is that? What is that? What is that? Hey, 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 Find out from him. Marcos! Yes, your majesty. Come here. Your Highness, who is that woman behind you? And what is she doing here? What was all that noise outside for? Marcos. Tell them I'm not a woman. I'm a babe now. Oh, your Majesty, um, uh, um, uh, we are from the same village. Yes, uh, we are from uh, the same village, Nando. Uh, Nando. Uh, Nando. Nando, yes. Nando. Uh, 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 a madman pursued her. Then I, I rescued her. Uh, she's my sister. Your sister, you said? Uh, yes, Your Majesty. And why is she dressed like this? And those shoes. Ha! Marcos, you never tell them. And this here? It's your majesty. Sorry, I didn't go. I'm not even telling myself. <laughs> your majesty, where I come from? You see this boot? Now put of life. No joke, oh! It's shit of days. If this shoe step, you cannot carry. Ah, your Majesty, okay, tell me now. If I was wearing this big, big bag, would I wear now? How would I be able to change that keke? Okay, sorry. Uh, that madman that was outside that was chasing me. Uh, I, I won't be able to chase him now. Forget this shine shine one I wear. No calculator with this boot where you see for yourself. This boot, you cannot try it. I <laughs> beg your pardon. I try, I'm trying to explain to you. Auntie, Auntie, leave this boot. Your Majesty. <laughs> Your Majesty, ah, this boot is <laughs> one in. Hey, hey bro! <laughs> My friend! <laughs> what about your friend? I mean, that one I saw that day. You know yourself? Ah! Not try him, but my friend now. Will you shut up. Who's your friend? I don't know her. Marcus. Your Majesty. Take this thing out of this compound. Oh, no, 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 go, go, go. No, 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 no Marcos. Leave her. Yeah? You just heard Marcos say it. She's his sister. Please, let her be. Let her be where? 
You still want her to stay here <laughs> after what she said about her regalia? <laughs> you know, sometimes you might not like this kind of things, but I mean, she's okay. She could do for a palace muse. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Come on, it's been sad and boring in this palace. Someone to make us laugh? It's a good one, don't you think so? <laughs> I can't stand this. Hey, what did you say that your name was? Ah, brother. Hey! Sarah, your majesty. Oh, your majesty. <laughs> Bro! Sarah, my sister. I want a joke for this place. Okay. Ah, your majesty. Wow. So, your father really arranged this marriage to take place. I'm telling you. I mean, if not for the intervention of God, and the help of Ogi, I would have been married to that old baboon, that ugly thing that calls himself Ichiokuraf. You, you are really lucky, oh. eh? So, now, so that old man, that old fool, will just carry my wife like that. I found, eh, it will not happen. Hey, hey, Marcus. Eh? Oh, your ear. I say, oh, your ear. Ah, well, this is the last time I'm going to warn you. Don't call me your wife again. No tie ammo. Madame is shot. Maybe people come outside for here. Hey. Don't call me your wife again. You hear me? What's happening now? You just waiting. Don't try and make me hear you. No, no. What did you say? Sarah, the king wishes to see you at the royal sitting room. Me? Yes. What did I do? I don't commit Nana. I wouldn't know. Please don't keep the king waiting. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. And you, if you like, don't go back to your post. Remain here and let the prince come down. You are finished. Cow, come to that. Cow, cow, cow. Cow, Why are you shooting at me? When the unknown visited, everywhere became calm, like a graveyard. Boys, and you had to disguise yourself as a boy to participate? Yes, so my kid. I had to. See, in my village, when the girls are competing, the winner goes home with either a gallon of red oil or one crate of mineral. But when the boys are competing, he goes home with a full life goat. Only him, one goat. So tell me, my king, if you are my shoes, which one would you partake in? Hey, stop asking the king stupid questions. Just go on with your silly joke. Uh, well, my dear, I think you made the right decision. Hmm? That was very good. Uh, who won the competition? Ah, uh, ah, uh, my king, I don't want you to ask me. I don't want you to ask me. Small. I won! When you look at me, you know sit dance for my body. I did dance so no try me for stepping. I did step. Huh? Hey. <laughs> so that means you're a good dancer. Sharp me. My moves, epic. If I begin dance here, you are queen. And I go go inside. So you can show us some of those your epic moves now. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> if you don't get music, tell me I could sing with my mouth. They dance the same time. Put some music for her, let's see. So that she can show me the stuff she's made of. Music. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Is my sister and from my town, my, my town Nando. Yes. A land of peace and progress. Ah. Yes. Uh, ah. Do you have any problem with that? No, I don't have any problem with that. But the only problem I have now is that you are, I think you are the one that's going to solve that problem for me now. Uh, I just want to know more about her. Uh, 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 Buchi, hmm? <coughs> where is this nonsense coming from? Uh, don't tell me that you, you have been looking at her. Listen, it hasn't gotten to that. It's not nonsense yet. Um, she was invited before the king today. And something led to the other. And she started dancing for the king. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you don't know Sarah. Yeah. Sarah is a mommy. She is. When they come to that She side. is. Do you know what they call Okoso? Uh, <laughs> that is Sarah. She does today. I can see her. In my town, Nando, mm. people pay her to dance. Okay. How much did the king pay her to dance? Uh, the king. Uh, hey. That is not actually the issue now. The issue now is that that is why I came to you. <laughs> if, you see that, sir? <laughs> I want to make her mine. Eh? Yes. Mm. What did I hear you say now? You will do it. Come on, you want to make her mine. That's what. Listen to me. Listen to me. When she was dancing before the king today, everything in me stood up. Eh? Let me tell you. I can go. Don't, 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 don't touch this body again. Let me tell you. I am willing. To give you my life savings, if only you can link me to her. And I know you will do it as a friend. What are friends for? Go will punish you and punish your life service. Mm -hmm. So that's the work or no? No, no. Is this what this palace has become? A madhouse where people don't manage their business. What's the problem? Eh? Now let me let me let me let me make it clear to you. If, if I ever see you. Yes, sir. Eh? You are dead. I'll, I'll kill you and go back to Nando. Eh? Yes! Wait, 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 let me ask you. Are you sure that this Sarah you are protecting with all your life is your sister? Because you don't want anybody to come close. Go! You idiot! Go! Hey, hey, hey. Sarah, what? You drop everything you stood up. Everything you stood up. You will drop. I'll kill you and I'll go back to Nando. Go! 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 Come, move it. You idiot. Everything you stood up. Come, police, you are police, you are I want to know more about that. 
I don't know. You know, who will punish you and your generation? Say that, man. Oh, you are. Whatever that happened to the cutlery? Mama, but every time I see him, he's always angry. Ugh. And with a smile, scary, scary withdrawn. What was his problem? It's a long story, but I believe time will heal. Did I say anything wrong? Why did I give me this? What did I say? If only you knew how much I despise you, you wouldn't be talking to me.
Should I blame myself for all these? Did I turn my own son into a monster overnight? I don't even know him anymore. His anger is getting worse by the day. He does not even listen to one speaking. And I'm getting weaker by the day. The king in his might should not lose his blood when his skin is not bleeding. What must I do? How do I remedy this? Don't dare it to. I'm telling you now. Don't ask him anything. Let me tell you, since I entered into this palace, the only words I've ever received from the prince is, uh, um, uh, yes, my prince. If he comes here and I say, hey, hey, open that gate. Yes, my prince. Close that gate, idiot. Yes, my prince. Yeah? You, you, you want to ask him why, why, why he's like that? Don't try it, though. Don't try it. Lick him. Is he a monster? He will kill me if I talk to her. Hi. Oh. The king is a very nice man. Very nice. But sometimes when I see him, if you don't know how to look at me, mm -hmm. his face is like this. Eh? He is always sad. <laughs> very sad. I, I need to talk to, to, to the prince. I need to talk to him. Sarah! See, what's your problem? Sarah, don't put me into trouble. What, what, what's this? Yeah? I will talk. Don't tell me that, dude. Listen. I will talk. See, now that that you have been employed in this palace, they have assigned you to be a muse, not a counselor or an advisor. Mm. Mandia, don't put me in trouble. I will talk. Don't put me into trouble. I Sarah. will talk. Sarah, Marcos, you will talk. I will talk. Now, me get my mouth. I will talk. It is not your mouth, it is my mouth. The Queen Mola orders to see you immediately. Oh, see it. You see it? You see it? You want this girl? Don't tell me the one. Wanna? Every time she go come, they shake her head like a gamma lizard. What is your problem? Your mother wants to see. Wanna? At the desk. Wanna get you? Tell her from now on, the desk. You get one. Wanna? Don't tell me the one. You get the one. Because even for Nando, I will show her pepper. This is not Nando, Sarah. This is not Nando. What is this? Listen, I did not call you here for us to have a conversation. Therefore, you have to keep quiet while I talk. Is that clear? Okay. Shut up! I said, shut up. I said, keep quiet while I talk. By the way, were you about calling me my again? I'm sorry. Shut up! Are you this dumb? Listen, your job here is quite different. That thing they called you here for, you must stick to it. No walking around the palace. No gossiping. And no poking your nose into matters that are not your business. Is that clear? Okay. Shut up! You were employed here to make the king laugh. You must stick to it. And make sure I am not part Inside of your silly jokes. Is that clear? Yes, Shut up. Everything is 
Just get out. Nuisance. Strange things happen get out. every day. For royalty is big business. In the royal house, there is a permanent interest. Why are you this dump? Yes. That paper is upside down. So what are you reading? <laughs> so you can actually laugh. I mean, so your face could actually open up. But why does everybody keep saying I'm dumb? It's simple. Because you are dumb. Well. None of the intelligent people in this house has been able to make you laugh. I cannot be that dumb and still make you laugh. Father, 
I want to know what that little brat is doing in this palace. Mother's language, son. And who is this person you speak of with so much disdain? I'm talking about your new staff. The one you employed to make you laugh. Oh, Sarah. What has she done to you? Moreover, I employed her here to make everybody in the palace laugh. At least to brighten this palace. It's not necessary. Not it's not necessary, Father. It's not. I don't even enjoy her silly jokes. She's more of a distraction. I want her to believe on whose orders. I make decisions here. I say who stays and who goes. I hired her here. And when I don't see any need for her anymore in this palace, I will let her go. And more importantly, always remember you are royal. That girl in question is Marcos' sister, who supposedly needs help. Son, always led to help. Are we still on this topic? Your Majesty, why do you make us appear heartless? We do not need that girl here. A man in your position should always listen to the opinions of his people. I respect your opinion all the time. And you cannot say I do not respect your opinion. Allow that lady that ran towards for her enjoy some peace. This is my decision. And I can see how your decision is helping this family. Too many things can happen to a man. He will decide to lock up himself. He will decide to be all alone. When did all this he start? Will decide to speak to nobody. I'll be talking to my husband and he wouldn't listen. Whatever when you make some sense. Could be deeper listen. than the mind. Could be deeper than the mind. And it's buried inside the game. I am the girl from Nando. Fine girl with the swag go. When she the sing, they they don't go. Say that you the rock, you the sing. <laughs> Welcome, the world best rapper. Say. I need to change my name. I need I need swag. Sarah Lynn Shop. Ah. Sarah Lynn. Oh, I want to see you, want to sing, want to say, I want to sing. How dare you? Ma, will you shut up? You little silly, worthless parasite. How dare you upset my son? No, your mother. Have I not warned you to stay away from my son? Have I not also warned you to stop meddling in the affairs of this palace? What gave you the audacity to speak to my son? Blindness. A joke. I just see me and make a laugh smooth. Just only a joke. I didn't do anything. I'm a joke. Will you shut up? Listen. If you want to make people laugh, go out there. Pick a form. Join a theater group. Oh, does this palace look like a stage to you? I'm sorry, Your Highness. Just shut up. Listen. Stay away from my son. Stay away from me. Stay away from my... You know what? You can actually crack up the king with your tired jokes. Do not ever meddle with the affairs of this palace again. And don't come anywhere close to my son. Yes, ma'am. Oh, shut up. Silly thing. Hey. Hey. The king said I should make him. Don't 
finish. What do you do now? Back up to the same Sarah. My friends, my cousin is here. Great thing, my my prince. prince, we didn't need anything. No. You can't leave. Where's my prince? Marcos. My prince. Marcos. My prince. Marcos. Yeah. My, my, my prince. How many times did I call you? Three. If I stand up here, you know the implications, right? If you don't want me to stand up, just tell me exactly what I want to hear. Hey, 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 hey please, my, my prince, uh, don't stand up. Don't stand, don't stand up, I beg of you. Uh, you. Just ask me, ask me anything you want to ask me, uh, and I will tell you everything I know. Good. That maiden my father hired, who is she? Uh, 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 my prince, her name is Sarah, uh, daughter of Ichi Okanando of our town. Our town is Nando. Explain the useless details. Who is she to you? Uh, my, my, my prince, she's our town's girl. We grew up together. Uh, 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 I also know that she can dance very well. Why did you bring her here? Hey, no, no, no. Hey, I, I'm not the one that, that, that brought her here. Oh. Uh, she, 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 she ran away from the village. Uh, in fact, my prince, it's a long story. Listen, I don't have time for your useless long story. The same way you brought her into this palace. Find a way and take her out. Else you will lose your job. <laughs> please, please, please don't, don't send me away. I am working here to, to save some money to better my life. If you fire me, I am finished. You know I hate talking too much. Yes, Handle that girl. Else, I will handle you. <laughs> first. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Even if he's the one that spoke to you first, why did you answer? Why did you answer? As me, baby, I know they talk again. I should not answer. Uh -huh. I might never. Uh -huh. Please. Uh -huh. Marcos, please, leave me alone. I am partially doing my job. Well, that your partial job is partially destroying my own. Uh -huh. Sarah, please stay away from Prince and his mother. They don't like you. They don't like you at all. Sarah. 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 Three, three times. Oh. Three times. Now, if you cannot stay away, oh, stay on your own. Go in there. Oh. Quietly pack your things and go back to the village. What nonsense? Yeah? <coughs> no, 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 no. Don't go back. Don't go. Don't go. Hey! If you go back to the village now, your father will marry you off to that old fool. That is Joker of all that idiot. <laughs> stay. Yeah, stay. But please, stay your own. Oh? Don't go close to them. Hmm? Hmm? I've heard you. Huh? I'll stay away from them. Good, good, good. <laughs> good. Um, <laughs> Let me talk to you again. Touch me for what? Okay. Uh, let me. Uh, please just go. Go now. Stop touching me. Don't drag me like that next time.
You know I have come to like you very much. In as much as you're not well educated. You're intelligent and you have a good sense of humor. Thank you very much, my king. Thank you. Mm, what do people think otherwise? They think I'm stupid. No, you're not, my daughter. You just need a little touch up. You learn to listen when people speak. Speak only when you're spoken to. Dress well, walk like a lady, and act like one. Trust me, you will not believe the level of respect you will command from people. Because you're a good woman. I want to learn. I want to learn. Mm -hmm. I, 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 there's no one to teach me. <laughs> My friend, will you teach me? I need mean, to walk, talk when you are being. Ah, uh, right on time. Lieutenant, uh, please come. I want to have a word with you. I need you to do something for me. Okay. I want you to take Sarah to a very good beauty parlor. I have made up. Then take her to a very good makeover so she can look better than what she's looking now. Buy her some clothes. I know you know what time it is. Buy her some clothes. Go to my car, take my debit card, and spend all you can. This is a joke, right? I won't. Listen, Lieutenant. We may have our differences, but I still remain your father. You will do as I say. And if I don't, this is a direct order from the king and not your father. You will do exactly as I say. Is your man? Is your man? Come, 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 follow me, come. not seen for a long time and I wonder what is going on. You are talking in riddles. What is it that is happening in the palace? From nowhere, a strange maiden came looking for Marcus and before anyone could know what is happening, she has been employed in this palace and was given a room. <laughs> I don't get it. Do you want to challenge the decision of the king or do you want to be fired? Not exactly what I am saying. As we speak right now, the prince just drove out with the strange maiden. What will you call that? Wait, Adamma. Must you joke with everything? Which prince are you talking about? The one and only prince, Lotanna, of Akokwa Kingdom. The same prince that will never respond when you greet him. He's not taking a strange maiden on a ride. Now explain that to me. A mohawk, a lot. mohawk. Make sure you come like this. Strong mohawk. You want that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hi. Uh, this is what I'm thinking of. What? Who exactly are you to answer this question? Madam, I don't understand the question. I don't understand this question. Just, just do my head. Mohawk. You don't need to misunderstand me. I'm just curious. The prince brought you here that the king gave instructions that I transform you into a classic chick. And to confirm the assertion, he paid with the king's debit card. See, you know that cannot happen if you don't have anything to do with the king. Hi. I don't understand why you're asking me this question. What are you concerned? She really don't pay you to do your work. You just say, what the things come back. Thank you. No, I'll get that. No more. You don't need to rush me. 
so that I'll get it to work. Going on here. Why are you so agitated? Hmm. Greetings, father. Young man, where is the lady you went out with? Excuse me. What lady? Sarah, of course. You left this palace with her under my instructions to take her to the beauty parlor, to the salon, and then uh, shop for her. In fact, I'm already receiving debit alerts. She remember that or are you under amnesia? What? Your Majesty, you mean you asked my son to take that low life to a beauty parlor and a boutique? For what? As what? As a chauffeur? Oh yes, I did. So where is she? I forgot her. What? You forgot a human being like yourself? How could you do such a thing? What happens to my instruction? I ask you to go with her to the beauty parlor, wait for her to do the makeover, where she's going, bring her back. I can't believe what I'm hearing. You mean this whole thing is happening under my nose? Father, the last time I checked, I am a prince, not a god. Like you said, you got debit alerts. That means you know where your money went to. Send someone to pick her up. Or better still, pick her up yourself. Hey, listen, young man. Don't you ever talk to me in that manner. Else! Your Majesty, I cannot be... shoes again why do they look me like that what is it Sarah if I tell you that I'm not surprised at this your transformation eh come here like that <laughs> look at you you look so beautiful Oh, 
that I gave you. Eh? Why now? No now, eh? Marcos, eh? Mess up. Hey! Mess up! Mess up. This boot. Eh? My boot of life. Ancient of this. Wait. When I finished dressing, mm. as I was stepping out. Yeah. Would you? Stepping out from that place. You are not looking at this thing I'm wearing. This boot. Don't try this boot, though. Ah ah. Not of that thing again. No, 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 no. I still want you to wear them. I, I, I saw when you brought them back. Don't one of them wear. I, I just want to see. You know, this is your fine straight leg. Then, so you move like this for me. It's late. It's late. Eh? Go to your room. Ah, Marcos. Oh, oh, no problem. Oh, give me, give me a cup. Give me. Oh, yeah. Do you know? Yeah, uh, 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 do you know? I, I can change my mind. I decide to sleep here tonight. Sleep where? Oh yeah. Go. Hey, 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 go. Okay. Why are you laughing? What is it? No, seriously, what is so different about me? It's still me, Sarah. Oh, oh wait, is it just this head that is making me act this way? <laughs> it's not just the head. So what? Did you not look at yourself in the mirror when you returned yesterday? You were looking absolutely gorgeous. Just look at yourself now. <laughs> I can't even explain what I'm seeing. Okay. Seriously. Okay, wait, let me ask a simple question. Was I that ugly before my makeover? No! So what? That is not what I mean. You have always been very beautiful. Okay. Let me explain it this way. Oh yeah. Hi Prince. Did you see that girl? Who? Don't be stupid, I'm talking about Sarah. Yes, she's in the backyard talking to one of the maids. something to you. <laughs> when you came here originally, I never knew you have some humorous potentials. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> you are the most funny creature I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Greetings, my friends. I thought your job is to make the royal household laugh, not the entire community. Um, I'm sorry, my friends, but I'm done with my duties already. I was with the king from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. this morning, and then he told me he had a meeting with his cabinet members. Then I came out here. You have to keep it low. I was hearing your voice right from my room. Keep it low. I think my message is clear. Yes, my friends. Are you joking? Uche, the king gave me the insult of my life. In fact, he insulted what I stand for. Can you imagine? He asked me to take a common up to a salon and stand there and watch her do her makeover and shopping. He even gave me his debit card. Hold on. Are we still talking about the king here? So, who is this? Babe, that made your father to release his debit card just for you to take a commoner for makeover and shopping. Who is this babe? That's the point. She is a nobody. A commoner. Ordinary maiden that he employed as a royal muse. I don't even know what that means. 
This is so so what happened? I forgot her day. <laughs> you left her? I paid for whatever and I left her there. This is serious. So what really happened after? Did how did she manage to come home and uh, the makeover artist, did she do a good job? Uche, how is that supposed to be my business? Come on, wasn't that a direct order from the king? Inside the royal house, everything is possible. What have I done to myself? Where is my child? I just hope I haven't pushed her into the wrong hands. Or was she kidnapped? No. She couldn't have been kidnapped from here. She left with all her clothing. Oh, Mabel, my wife. Why did you have to leave me alone in this world? I have always been wrong in making decisions. You made my decisions and took care of everything perfectly well for me. Please forgive me, my dear wife. Sarah, please just come back home. Oh my child, gods of my land, gods of Nando, please save my child. Lutan, now hurry up now. Can't you see what time it is? Come now, let's go. I don't like this. I don't even know what you are doing there. Lutan, now. I don't understand this guy. He doesn't even have any sense of time. I'm fine. Very, don't I look fine? No, no, you are not. You are moping stupidly. Moping? Archman. I wasn't moping. I'm just fine. Perfect. Sorry, can I Hold on, hold on. Who is that girl? That's social base. Who is that social base? Who is the girl? Alright, if you must know. The day you were embarrassing yourself with those girls, she was there. Oh my, oh my. That girl, that girl that was putting on a funny boot. This is the girl? Yes. How come I didn't notice her that day? What is she doing here? To call the long story short, she's one of our servants. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on, look. I don't know. You always fast tracking. You always speeding everything. Relax. The journey of life is more gentle, gentle. That meeting we are going. Look, this social base is more important than that stupid meeting. I'm not Hello. even interested in that meeting again. Uche. I think. Uche. Uh, Uche. I think. Let's leave. See, look at my. I've not really asked you anything before. Let's go. Can I just. Uche, let's go. If 
this i'm not really enjoying the, the, the silence let's talk about this but you have a lot going on here so i would appreciate it if you shut up so i can concentrate fine in that case if you grant me access to that beautiful maiden that maiden that almost drove me crazy come on Lutana, did you see the hips it was swinging like a pendulum that is suffering from acute intoxication of cannabis. The hips. Can you grant me access to this meeting? Because if you do, is it going to cost you anything? I've been thinking. Who are you to? Who are you to? <laughs> Come on, Lutana. Of course I'm your friend. I'm your brother. I'm your number two. I'm your most trusted ally. Even the king himself knows I am very, very reliable. That is why he has granted unhindered access to me to every place in the palace. So because of the unhindered access you have, is that why you are defiling all the maidens in that palace? Or you think I don't know? Okay. Oh, you What? Oh, do you mean I've been defiling all the maidens in the palace? I don't know. Who, who told you that? So you think I'm delusional, but I don't even know what is happening around me. Is that what you think? Listen, you can be playing or messing around with all the maidens in that palace. But you see Sarah, stay away from her. I repeat, stay away from Sarah. Come on, Lutana. You told me she's, she's just a Change the topic. Listen. Stay away from Sarah. Else you will see the beast in me. Stay away from Sarah. Royal game. Royal game. Royal game of the mind. Yes, 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 it's royal game. Sarah, how are you? I'm very fine. Um, I came to see if I could entertain you, but you, you know, you need lots of entertainment to ease of tension. Uh, Sarah, I don't think I'll be needing that this morning. Yes, I've been meaning to ask you. 
What was the last examination you passed? Examination? Can you want to set exam for me? Can't you just be objective for once? What was the last school you attended? Primary or secondary? Okay. I finished from our community secondary school in Nando. My king, I didn't want to go to school. I wanted to further my education. Oh! But my father, hey, that man don't get sense. What sense no get? He begin to play Kalo Kalo. No car bets. Nothing when he's a bit. Nothing. I could not further my education. All the money when you get. This morning, don't go play Kalo Kalo. Tomorrow, don't go play Kalo Kalo. I'm not going to go school. Good morning, Your Majesty. What are you doing here? Um, I was just uh, asking her some specific questions on her educational background. Really? Instead of you to start thinking of what to do to your son to bring him out of the dark cloud he's in, you're busy listening to this intruder who I'm here to know what her mission here is. Adana, what can one say to a man that is already darkened by hatred and bitterness? Please, let me have some peace. How can you have peace when your only child is gradually calling into a world of his own? My queen. Shut up and get out! Get out! This whole thing is still very surprising to me. How much did they pay you to come and teach me? Why are you bothering yourself with how much you have paid? The important thing is that you have the love of the royal house and they have hired me to help you improve academically and otherwise. Hey! See, no problem. No problem. I don't want you to teach me grammar. Mm -mm, baby grandma, I don't want. I want you to teach me calculation of millions. Because as you're seeing me here, oh, hey! don't look at me like this. One. I am going to become a millionaire. When they see me, money. You hear Sarah, money. You see my head, money. I am smiling, money. I want to become a millionaire, so you need to teach me calculation of millions. Do you have that kind of knowledge? I mean, are you a millionaire? <laughs> Good chair. Some people are very poor because what they have is money. Those are people suffering from intellectual poverty. If you are listening to me, I will confirm to you that intellectual poverty is the worst form of poverty. Ha! You can overcome that. Ha! Ha! Koche! Koche! You be fine. Ha! Too much salty. You know too much. Where did you learn from? Have you traveled to London before? <laughs> My dear, London is not the only place one can learn. The process of education can be activated anyway. Make up your mind to learn, and we can make huge impact in a few weeks. See, Lutana, there are certain things you don't tell a man like me now. I'm not a small boy. You are not even making sense. If you want to make sense, make sense. If you don't want to make sense, close your mouth. Let us drink. You don't believe me, right? No, yeah, don't tell me. Don't worry, let me prove it to you. No, tell me, you want to make sense, make sense. Don't worry, let me get my phone now. Oh, bring it. 
You're talking to me as if I'm a small boy. I'm not a small boy. No problem. Let me get my food. If you want make sense, make sense. Which beer? Yeah, we look cool. Where you going here? Oh. Hey, come. Me? Come now, now my speaking Greek. Come. Come on, it's me now. You don't remember me? Yes, I remember you. Uh huh. At the parliament. You called me a... Oh, forget what happened that day. Is it that day, eh? I was so drunk. I was not myself. Normal me couldn't have said what I said that day or do what I did. I'm sorry for whatever I did that day. I'm sorry. My name is H. But my friends call me Archman. But, but you, as a matter of fact, you can call me Arch baby, I don't have problem with that. Nice meeting you. Come on. Do, 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 you, do you know how pretty you are? Do, do you know your beauty can make one forget he has not Uche, eaten? Uche, Uche. Huh? What's the meaning of this? What is it? I'm just trying to make a formal introduction here. Is there anything wrong with that? Introduction ended. I warned you. I don't understand. I'm not even done with the introduction. I mean, what, what, what are you saying? Here? My friend, will you leave this place? Leave, Odan! Otana, what is the meaning of this guy? No, what is this guy? Am I sensing some jealousy here? When has acquaintance become a sin? My friend, call it over. No, why are you being overprotective about this girl? Uche, respect your old image. I don't like this. I don't know. I don't like this. Look. Look at the evidence you are asking for. Uche, I don't want to look at it. making my friend laugh part of your job in this palace. No, he... He only just asked me what my name is and if I remember him. Do you remember him? Ah! Of course! Why would I remember him? I remember him! Ah, remember that day at him? Thank God you came to his rescue. If not, Shake away those girls for sure you're afraid. If you no recover. Ah! And as for me, thank God say you come. If they say I show my taekwondo style, so I'm waiting I go do. Search for a new one. Oi! Marcha, marcha! Oi! Chucky chan the fight for Chempo! Now who chung them go fight? If they say I give up, if you no survive, I will show the pepper that day. What are you reading? My coach gave me 
New General Mathematics. Mm -hmm. You, New General Math. Stop wasting your time. Hey, me. Let me tell you. Me, where you see here? Next, Bilonia. Bilonia in the making. The time money when I want to make. If they heap the money, heap them, heap them, heap them. If you claim that money, jump condom. You go die. Ah! I need to calculate my money, calculate about myself. So I need to know mathematics. So that when that money come, nobody go cheat me. I will calculate money by myself. Alright. Tell me how far you've got. Um my prince. Let's forget about this. I want us to talk sense. You want us to talk sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm all ears. I want to ask, why do men like pretending? Meaning? You don't know what I mean. See, when I did my village, I think see the men waiting for my village, they pretend. Lie, lie! Men for here, no try them. I give them hundred. They they pretend. You are still not making sense to me. Who are who are the pretenders? You who are you talking me. about? You they ask me. One sit down for front of me. No, no look back. That one stand. You you sit down. Now you are the doctor. I beg your pardon. Yes. Like a pretender. You want to tell me that you don't like me? No, I, I, I need to stand there for you to look at me. Don't you like me? I mean, like me very well. Look at me from my head to my boots. Don't you like me? No, I never laugh, oh. If you want me to give you catwalking, I'll give you catwalking. Or I give you the step. <laughs> You're laughing. No, tell me, my prince. Don't you like me? Hmm? No, no, seriously. Are you telling me you don't like me? <laughs> or you still want me to move for you? Uh, okay. Let me give you another one. <laughs> <laughs> what was that thing you were telling my son that made him laugh? so much earlier today. Nothing, my queen. What do you mean nothing? My son is not a madman. So he couldn't have been laughing over nothing. I... I... Continue with what you were telling him. But, but my queen... Yeah. Sit. Me. Yes, you. You see, in the past three years, my son had neither smiled nor laughed so much as he did today. And um, I've been praying for a healer to come. And I think that my prayer has been answered through you. I want to ask you for a favor, please. Whatever it was you were telling my son or you did to my son, I want you to continue. Okay. You... You asked me not to meddle in the affairs of the palace. <sighs> Forget what I must have told you, probably when I was in a bad mood. Make my son laugh more often. Please. Inside the royal house Everything is possible Who's sick? Who's sick? 
Whatever is your head, how are you feeling? Just let me use this to cool your temperature. After I'll go out and buy you drugs, okay? You see, leave this thing, leave this thing. I mean, don't forget about my headache. Eh? What is this now? Eh? What is this closeness between your prince? Oh, don't stop this now. Sarah. Eh? Come on. Sarah. Oh, so be... I've been looking for you. I told you we are going out today. Why, why are you not ready? Uh, my greetings, my prince. Greetings. Don't tell me you want to go out with me like this. My prince, I can't go anywhere. <clears throat> Marcos no way. He's not feeling fine. You are not a doctor, Sarah. If Marcos is not feeling fine, all you need to do is tell the king and he will send for a doctor. Shut up. See, see, he's crying. I need to take care of him. He's not, he's not well at all. All right. Doctor, take care of the patient. Uh, Will you uh, shut up? You know, way. I, I record the crazy jokes. I, I, I will tell him that you're calling my name. This headache now is as, as a result. You're here. Yes, my friend. You, you sent for me. Yes, I did. Please sit down. I need you to do me a favor. What can I possibly offer the Queen of Akokwa that she does not have already? I, I, I am just a mere servant, my Queen. It is something you can offer me. Not just me, but also the King, and most especially the Prince. If you do this for me, Sarah, I will reward you handsomely. My queen, it is not about the reward. But I will be willing to do anything to make the prince happy. I mean, each time I see him, he's always sad, always angry. I, I would really love to help my queen. I need you to convince Lutana to take a wife. Queen. Oh, please, don't give me that look. You see, Sarah, my son has never been close to anyone in the past three years. The way he has been to you these few weeks. Of course, apart from um, Uchi, who I know would prefer him to remain like that. I need you to change a few things about him. Like the way he dresses, you know, it is not befitting of a prince. The way he leaves the palace without even one guard. These are some of the things that I need you to change about him. Please, my child, do this for me. I, my queen, you do not need to beg me. I would love to help. But you know your son, he doesn't smile. He's always angry. I mean, I don't know how he is going to react if I try to meddle in such an important issue. He, he will act well. Honestly, if you do this, it's going to bring joy back into this palace. Please. Okay, my queen, but before I do this, I, I would like to know what happened in the past. Why he acts this way? I mean, so I know how to handle situation if any arises. 
my child, you have a right to know. You see, this family was living in peace, doing beautifully well. One of the palaces that anybody would dream to live in. Until one day. You don't feel the sex of the child yet. As you have refused to have a scandal. And you're already naming the child. Trust me, I know what I put in there. I'm a shark shooter. It's a boy, don't you? Hmm. Okay, Mr. Sharpshooter. From your lips to the heart of the gods. Um, I pray to give up. Did you hear that? Hear what? My son just called my name. He said, <laughs> Daddy, I love you. <laughs> oh, my love, please stop cracking me. You first person get this child out of me. The truth is, I can't wait to see my son. Mm -hmm. The future prince of our corporate family. I know my love. So. It's been 20 minutes. The maid called you lovers to come and join us for lunch. And um, up till now, both of you are still here. And the king and I have been waiting. Forgive me, sweet mom. I totally forgot. We are very sorry, my queen. Please forgive us. It's okay, my children. Shall we? Yes. Sure. <laughs> sure. It's not good to keep the king waiting. I am having her with care. Okay. Mm. Mm. That's so big. Mm. 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 Yeah, the best thing that happened to my son, mm -hmm. Roger. Thank you, 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 Sometimes I ask what I did to deserve an angel like you. My love, please don't make me cry. You know I'm almost dead. And I cannot do the things I do, so it doesn't fasten to me or... The moon and the sun rise in your eyes. Once you go to bed, I shall practically invite all your friends down to our compound. Just to celebrate your symptom. The midwife asked that I pray for a safe delivery. That is what I have been doing. Then I'm happy you're praying for the same safe delivery. I can't wait to lay my eyes on our first seed. It will bring smile upon so many faces. And I am through a very deep pattern. Just to appreciate you. I said that. Fine. This is not making sense to me anymore. 
my wife is in serious pain and we must take her to the hospital. Mm. So don't make an emphatic statement. This has gone beyond you. A woman married to the prince must not have her child outside the walls of this palace. Yes. That is tradition. This tradition can be changed. That woman has been battling with my wife in there for the past six hours. And my wife has been screaming in pain. Let's take her to the hospital that for crying. That is why it is called labor. Oh my word. Most women in labor scream. Mm. So it is not strange. Can I see you with your manager? How is my wife? It's not for you. It's only for women. Your mother only. Excuse me. Pa, listen. Uh, you need to do me a favor. Tell my father to give up on this tradition issue. My wife is in pain. We need to take her to the hospital. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. See, as the coming king of this kingdom, you must be committed to the protection of our tradition. Why are you protecting this useless tradition? From crying out loud, this is a civilized world. 21st century, a woman in labor should be taken to a hospital. Don't provoke me, son. Do not. I was delivered in the palace. You were delivered in the palace. Grandchild must be delivered in the palace too. What is it? What is it? You're all are happy now, right? No, tell me, you're all Anna. Because of tradition, I lost my lovely wife. Because of tradition, I lost my lovely son. Because of tradition, I am now a widower. I denounce this tradition. And I swear, I will never ever forgive you all. I will never forgive you all. If a if a Asinobu makome nani yo, ejele makome nani buo no madu. If Up until now, the king has refused to accept the fact that he caused this whole problem. He has been holding on to tradition, forgetting the fact that traditions are made for humans, not the other way around. There is absolutely no way humans would be made for traditions. So my child took him out of this dark and I'll pay you anything. Why are you looking like someone that just woke up from the wrong side of the bed? Eh? You may need to go back and wake up again. You see, I, I don't like I don't like this look at all. Marcos. Marcos, if you know what I use my two legs here now. Mm. If you know what the queen told me. actually told me the reason the prince has been behaving the way he has been. Are you serious? There is reason for this caring attitude. What is it? You know since I came into this palace. Uh, since why I come with you for this palace? You see that king? Ah! I like that man. I like that hey, man. Hey, but... Please. What is this now? Eh? What is this? You mean to say that the king has joined the group of my enemies? Eh? Please don't start. Don't start liking the king. Please. Don't just like him. Please, I beg. Be cool. You know say you know get sense. Common sense you know get. If I talk now, you go say Sarah to the talk. You know get sense. You did not even allow me finish what I wanted to tell you. You not allow me hit my point. Your mind. You don't even get brain. 
Don't they want that? Who we are don't see, don't they tell me that nonsense. It's your mind that wondered by telling me that you not you not start that you, you, you started liking the king. What nonsense? Eh? Please, sir, I beg you, don't make me to kill this good man. Yes, this I can kill this king now and go back to Nando. I can just kill, kill him now and go back to what, what is this now? Please don't like him and let him not not like you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Hey, 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 don't do kill her. No kill anybody. The thing is, since the queen told me what she just told me, mm. I've had every reason to start hating the king. <laughs> he is the reason the prince has been locked up. You see all those things with the prince they do? <laughs> with the shout for you, they call you idiots. <laughs> The king goes hey, Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, hey, start hating him now. Let the hatred grow. Hate them, hate the king, hate the prince, hate everybody. You understand? No wonder. Hey, this is serious. You see it? So please hate them the more hate. Like me only. Hey, this is serious. What did he do? If the Queen is holding a private discussion with Sarah, should it be a topic of discussion? Why are you bothering yourself? Ah, uh, damn. Ever since you started working in this palace as a lady, have you ever had a private discussion with your Queen Mother? Eh? Why are you so blind not to see what is happening in this palace? So, what exactly are you insinuating? Eh? The same way she captured the king's heart is the same way she has captured the queen mother's heart. I think we need to confront her. Yes. Confront her as in, remember your oath of engagement. Do everything, I mean anything, but don't fight. Adam, eh? I never said we should go and fight her. I mean we should call her to come and explain the discussion she had with the queen mother. Mm. Get that into your head. Mm. The Queen Mother is calling you. Huh? She should come right now. The Queen Mother? Yes. Oh, let me. Yes. Come, okay. let's go. Okay. Come now. Okay. 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 Marcos, my problem with you is that you are never consistent at all. Hey, when did the topic change to my cause? Eh? The queen called you, told you what the king did to the prince that made him lock up. Now ask you to talk him out of it. Exactly. Exactly. So why are you asking me to go ahead and do this? Because the order is coming from the no-nonsense queen of Akopa. And you cannot turn her down. Eh? What nonsense? Were you not the same person that advised me? If I could remember, mm. you advised me to stay away from the prince. Yeah. Be... The same advice you disobeyed before it was given. Eh? Sarah, please don't, don't, don't make me to remember what you did. Listen, if the queen has told you to talk, uh, uh, talk to the prince to get a wife, do it. Why ah. must I do it? Eh, because it will now make me have rest of mind. You know, he will now marry the woman and leave you for me. Is that too much to ask? Ah, ah! I will never allow myself to be held responsible for your backwardness. Ah. Sarah! You are backward and backward. Is it what Akoko has made this girl to be? Sarah! Daughter of a gambler. Call it man of backward. Okay. Hey. Look at Sarah. I'm the one that gave you that boot to this boot now that is that is getting to your head. Me, backward, Marcos, you are mentor. Hey. <laughs> Fem é
Yes, I am. And my class has been very interesting. Good to hear. <laughs> you mean your coach never told you to get rid of this year outrageous boots? If you bought you new shoes, why are you not wearing them? Well, I like these ones better. Are you serious? Yes. You like this? Mm. My boots, my prince. Very precious. Special. <laughs> Alright. I want to take you out tomorrow. Hope you won't be busy. No. I don't have classes tomorrow. Good. Tomorrow then. Okay. <laughs> Can I have a word with you, please? Sure. I hope all is well. Yes. Yes, um... I... I... I've forgotten what I wanted to say. to tell you that you're looking very fine today. No one has said this to me for a very long time. Coming from you, I really appreciate. Thank you very much. Hey, thank you. Tomorrow. Yes. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yes. There we are sure of one thing. They were defending tradition. They were defending what they believe. And the belief they knew it all. Really simple as that. As we were sitting here, we have just told him the queen said, What did we do? What did you just do inside this room? Anything. And they would have run out. No more anything. We just stop. Why, why are you moving? Who are you talking with? Huh? Are you okay? Uh, uh, I did practice drama. My coach. This is drama. Just in years. What do you mean you couldn't tell him? So this little favor I asked of you, you couldn't do it. I was watching both of you. You had an opportunity to talk to him, but you failed me. Sorry. I'm very sorry. I wanted to tell him. But you know yourself. If he fails, you cannot stand him. Even you, you cannot stand him. I, I didn't know how to say it to him. You know, he was in a good mood. I didn't want to spoil his mood. Really? So you now know when my son is in the right mood to be talked to and when he's not, right? If you were that sensible, you should have seized that opportunity to talk to him. Please, forgive me. I fear. Fear. I don't want to stalk her. Fear. I don't say anything to you, Mickey. 
I'm sorry, Olivia. Please. Well, you have to do it when he returns. She will have to do what when who returns. your funny things that will make him laugh present it in a very friendly way and um, he will buy into it Queen, what's, what if he says no it all depends on how you present it I know my son has um, some level of lightness to you you know I'm sure he will not say no Huh? Just. I think he's back. Yes, he's back. Tell him, okay? Don't sit up. Get up. Be bold, okay? Word. No, I, I'm fine. Weird? No, no. I'm okay. Are you sure? Yes, I'm fine. All right, I'll be in my room in case you need anything. Um, my prince. So, I, I, I want to have a word with you. Okay. I know what your problem is. You need money, but you don't know how to ask, right? No, 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 my prince. I, I, I just wanted to ask why, why you don't have a girlfriend? No, I mean, why you don't have a wife? Uh, my prince, I, I have been looking at you. You'll be a better person. Nice man. You say sometimes you could just the uh, will you be a good person? I, I've just been wondering why you are always alone. Sarah, where is this coming from? No beer. No beer. I'm just concerned. Just concerned. You are always alone. Since I came into this palace, one woman, even one. It's not come here to look for you. It's just surprising. So Thanks for your concern. But my private life shouldn't be your business. If I Excuse me. Please, oh, I'm sorry if I offended you. If I no vex. Sorry. Hey. If I make that was a good start. Can I have a word with you, please? Sit. I'm sorry about 
yesterday. I mean, earlier. I didn't mean to get you upset. I, I was just concerned. It's okay. I'm not mad at you. Just that what you said brought back so many sad memories. My prince, those are memories that could be washed away. If you could leave and forgive, open your heart once again to love. You are a prince. Live like one. You don't have to stock up yourself in your room. Go out. Dress up. Be princely and be happy, my prince. It is your entitlement. Enjoy it. Oh. I can see your coach is doing a great job. But I can't even do those things anymore. I can't even do those things again. <laughs> Things are very easy. You don't have to go through that stress. It's all been arranged. Did someone pay you to do this? Me? No. No, I I mean yes. I have been talking to your mother and she Excuse me. My friends, calm down, calm down. I'm really sorry, but Concerned about you? No. I don't want to talk about my mom or dad. They don't have my interest at all. They do. Okay. Why don't you just leave this a trial? I mean, you might not like it at first, but trust me, in time, you start loving it and you'll in time in later. Your Majesty, I am delighted that you allow this to happen. These are maidens of this land that have been groomed for this process. Miss Herreta here will do justice to the introduction. My king, this is Nenna Valentina Ibekanjo the daughter of engineer Cosmos, Ibe Kanjo, the only oil machine we have in this land. Oh, I know the father. Your Majesty, this is Bella Okongu, <laughs> the daughter of Oliver Okongu, the owner of Okongu and Sons Trading Company. She's actually the only daughter of the family. This is Amara. She's calm and collected by the lady we pray. Ooh, I'm interested in that. The daughter of Mr. Andrew, the retired permanent secretary, Minister of Defense. Oh, Minister of Defense. Yes, Your Majesty. My king, the last but not the least, is no Nkemdika Anene. She's the daughter of Chief Emeka Anene, the CEO of our next breweries. My king, these are the beautiful ladies of this land, selected by the Queen, Her Majesty. Your Majesty. <laughs> Your Majesty. We are certain that one of them will find favor in the eyes of our prince mm. and be considered as the next queen of our copper kingdom. Thank you. Well, ladies, you're welcome to my humble abode. Thank, Thank you, Your Majesty. Of course, you all know that this is the palace of our Kingdom. Yes, Your Majesty. The Queen will familiarize you with everything about the palace and the things you're supposed to do. Everything has been provided for you that you will need for this process including food and drinks. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Majesty. So, my queen, okay. I'll take over. Oh, 
You're welcome once again. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. You remind me so much of Prince Charles. Of the United Kingdom. Okay. May I have a call, please? Ah, oh, he's so charming. Hi. Oh. Thank you. I am delighted. <laughs> oh well, beautiful ladies, you're all welcome. <laughs> Can I? Sure. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's go see things. You're welcome. Well, just before I do this, please. Permit me to say, Your Majesty, that you have the most beautiful face on planet. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. My pleasure. You're welcome. You are all welcome, my angels. Thank, thank you, you, Your Majesty. Majesty. I'm sure Miss Henrietta must have told you the reason you're here. Yes, Your Majesty. Good. I'm also sure she must have given you a brief history of the palace and everything that surrounds it. Of course. Good. So with your backgrounds checked by Miss Henrietta, I hope we will not have any problem with any of you. Good. So with all said and done, do you have questions for me? She's not one of you. She's actually nobody but a servant in the palace. Oh. Mm -hmm. Any more questions? No, no, with that being said, I don't think we have any more questions. Your Majesty? Excuse me! What do you think of all of us? Who made you a mark? Now you should have spoken up when Your Majesty asked me to one. Excuse me? Hello? That's oh. enough. That's enough. The king does not like quarrels. But most especially, the prince loves his women calm and quiet. So you can actually retire to your bedrooms now to rest. Oh, thank, you. thank you, Your Majesty. One more question, Your Majesty. I was going to ask, when are you likely to meet the prince? So we can get started. You know, I hope we're all on the same page. Of yes. course. <laughs> yeah. Do me a favor. Let them know that I've not gotten that shipment. Those goods cost me 2.4 million. I've already made some marketing arrangements. And so Muron should not sit on my money. Let them not provoke me, please. What? Why are you staring at me like that? <laughs> I'm just trying to reconcile the call you just ended right now with the character sitting before me. It appears that someone is playing a funny game here. Oh. Can you just let it out already? Why did you ask me to follow you here? Is there a problem? Yes, there is a problem. A very, very big one at that. Because someone here is trying to bring out the beast out of me like right now. And what is this one trying to say? I already confronted everybody in the palace, including the cleaners that clean our rooms. And they actually swore to me, even to the extent of swearing on the throne of the king. And I believe them. They don't steal here. So automatically, the thief or the thieves are right here in this room. I beg your pardon. Are you trying to call us? No, are you trying to call me a thief? I wish to know who stole the set of Victoria's Secret panties and bras I kept in my box. Oh, I can't believe this. So you actually think I could be the one that stole your stuff? Please, excuse me. Well, right. You see, 
that girl that just left? I believe her. She couldn't have been the one that stole my properties. Now girls, start talking. Who stole my set of Victoria City parties and brands? Get talking! You must be able to ask me that question. Oh, excuse me. Oh, there's a reason I'm not slapping you right now. Don't you ah! again. Who stole my panties? What do you deny? So who the hell took my... Aish. Oh, Sarah, Sarah, be romantic for once. Do you want to break my bones? My prince, you are too soft. Inando. Right. When I'm massaging my father's feet, the next thing we hear is. He's sleeping off. He likes my massage. <laughs> my dear, I'm not your father. Okay? Meanwhile, how is he? Have you heard from him? No. My prince, how are you coping with those girls? Hi! Those girls are too fine. Especially the ones, no. Just here. But me! Those boys are not as good as I got me here for your father and daughter. But me! Oh I kill it. I swank. One get a cent. <laughs> You're too pretty. I'm sure you will have a hard time. One of them. <laughs> How are you sure I will even pick any? I'm just fulfilling all righteousness. Just to make mom feel good. I might end up picking you. My friends. Please just leave me alone. <laughs> you must be joking. You never can tell. What if I decide to pick you like wake up one morning and say, oh, I pick you, I, I pick you, I pick you. <laughs> you. You cannot pick me, my prince. You're joking. You never can tell me. Joking, my prince. Am I so joking? Stop! My prince, stop! Greetings. My prince. Stop. Greetings. What is going on here? Nothing. Nothing, my queen. Sarah, you have to give the prince some space. At least to see his visitors. All the girls are complaining that he doesn't give them time to see him. Okay, my queen. I'm very sorry. My prince, I, I'll return to my room. If you need me, just send for me and I'll come back. Relax. You're not done yet. She has to leave because your father sent for you immediately. Son, so how is it going with the girls? I hope you're comfortable with the whole arrangement. Your mom thinks it's the best for you. Do I have a choice? You and mom have been taking decisions for me all my life. Besides, the girls are already here. Let me play along. Ah, no, son. You have a choice. If you feel uncomfortable, then you can choose to back out. But well, we can also always send the girls back to their home. It's okay, father. Let mom have her way. Can I go back to my chambers now? It's okay, son. Son, once again, I am sorry. Just to let you know that I am proud to be your father. Thank you very much, father. Too many things can happen to a man. He would decide to lock up himself. He would decide to be all alone. You know, this whole thing is becoming to seem like a child to me. The prince spent all day with that little brat and basically has no time for any one of us. 
making it seem like she's one of us. What is it with the two of them? <laughs> I wonder if they had that arranged for him already. Why then bring us to this place, making us look like fools? I won't stay here all day. I would rather give the prince a piece of my mind and make him know how we feel. Excuse you! And who asked you to be our spokesperson? Mm. Listen, if there's someone who needs to tell the prince how we feel, I should be the one in position to do so. As our spokesperson or what? I brought up the idea of talking to the prince, not you. So you sit here and watch me walk to the prince and make him understand that we are not man. No, you understand. do not such thing. <laughs> Prince, you know, I've been meaning to ask you a question all day. I, you know, I. <laughs> <laughs> My prince, um, there's this um, Angelo Galazzo pant I saw online. I think it will fit you. you just, I wanted them to bring it to you. Just, I was skeptical about your size. Maybe your size starts 6 or 38. Dummy, he's 38. Do you need someone to tell you that? <laughs> My prince, you know, I wanted to ask. What is your favorite meal? Because I wouldn't mind taking some time out to make something really palatable for you tonight. What is the meaning of this? And you, why are you sitting down there staring at us like a moron? Since you're that lesbian, you wanna go inside and get me a glass of juice? Get up! You won't. Now well, listen, she's a dear friend to this house. Here. So treat her with some respect. So it's What is the meaning of this? The meaning is simple. Stop giving us a hard time with this. Give him some breathing space, little brat. We just want to sound a note of warning. Stop making him not notice that we exist at all. Yes. Why are you being a barrier to our progress? See, I don't have time for Simon. All I'm saying is that stay away from the prince. Is that okay? Okay, ma. Oh, you see you. <gasps> you ah! 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 It will take me three minutes to move him away from my friends. Just to keep you three quiet because of it. The queen and the prince. For you three don't want to respect you. Especially you! Winter! I'm attack! Now you they make noise pass. I've been looking at you. You they spread. They spread for the palace, spread like bear sheets, spread like malaria. Before I close my eye, open my eye. Three of you delete. And if I don't, oh you don't know my name. Where did I go wrong that Miss Harrietta should make me part of this uncaught maidens? Are you all right? Are you ill? My queen, you should have informed us that in a bid to get the prince, we have to first engage in a wrestling match. Wrestling match? I, I don't understand. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. Sarah gave me the beating of my life just because I asked to spend a little time with the prince. What? Sarah, Sarah laid her filthy hands on you? Who gave her that God? Sorry, my darling child. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Sorry. You see, amongst all the girls, you are my favorite. And I wish you could add a little more effort so that the prince can choose you. Not with that arrogant bastard in the picture. I think the prince likes her and that's what gives her the guts to do all that. No. 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 The prince cannot stoop so low. It's not possible. 
The thing is that um, she helped the prince out of a very bitter phase of his life. And that was it. Nothing more. Well, um, sorry about this, okay? Oh. I will tell the chief maiden to come and take care of your pains. Hmm? Okay. Sorry. Okay. I'll be right back. It's royal game, royal game. It's royal game, royal game. It's royal game, royal game, royal game, royal game of the mind. Decide to speak to nobody, whatever it is, could be deeper than the mind, could be deeper than the mind, and it's buried inside the game. And what is the game? It is the royal game. Here you are. Sarah, I have been searching for you everywhere. Are you okay? Were you missing me? Sarah, talk to me. What is it? Nothing. Sarah, you can't tell me there is no problem when your face is like this. Please, feel free. What is it? My prince, I'm having a hard time with those girls. Especially Snow. Takitaki is evil. Very wicked. They think I'm taking too much of your time and that you're not giving them all the attention they need. That was why I kicked against bringing those girls into this palace. But never mind. The truth is, Sarah, I like you. Yes. I like you a whole lot. You make me happy. You make me laugh. To crown it all, each time I'm with you, I have inner peace. Just that I do not know how to say this all this while. I'm serious. I'm I see. <sighs> well, this romantic movie has just ended. Get out. Get out. Why did you let me go through the stress of putting all this together then? Mama, I was never in support of your plans from onset. It's all your creation. You practically forced it down my truth. And now you want to ruin everything just because of that little brat? No, mother. I won't have you speak ill of Sarah. I'm involved in this because of the little brat, like you called her. But the truth is, I like her so much, and nothing can change that. So the earlier you send your drama queens to where they belong, the better for us. Excuse me. Yes, 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 it's royal game. Mm, royal game. It's royal mm, game. 
I never get to know your name. Because you never asked. Well, my name is Samara and you are. This is funny. You mean you abandoned all you had to do and come here to win a man who don't even know his name? <laughs> of course you know I know your name. I'm only asking because I want us to formally introduce ourselves. Hmm. Smart one. Thank you. You are always reading your book. You don't hang around like other girls. Why? Well, we weren't born of same parents, so you don't expect us to have the same trademarks, do you? Even siblings differ in nature. They say different folks for different strokes. Not so. Another smart one. Thank you again. I'm impressed. At least my mother was able to get one smart one. I would like to have a drink with you when I return. Do you drink? Of course. I wouldn't mind. All right. Okay. That would be when I return. All right. Back off. Open that gate. My prince, I can see you're going out. Obviously. Um, do you mind if I join you? Uh, I need a breath of fresh air. I'm beginning to choke with all these girls around here. Where I'm going to, you may not like it. I'm going to chill with my men. Oh no, I don't mind. It's a nice thing. I hope you don't mind if I know you may like. Alright. I called you here for two reasons. First, what I heard my son talking to you about earlier today. Sarah, I hope you have not started getting ideas in your head because if my late father should wake up from the dead and makes a joke about both of you i would personally find him my queen i don't have anything to do with the prince nothing we are just friends what he said today was just a joke we were practicing drama Drama. Really? Just a joke. Yes, joke. Drama. Joke. Joke. Young lady, when I hear a joke, I know. Moreover, Lutana is my son. I came back to him. And I know that he hardly jokes. Listen, you have to stay away from my son. It is not a plea, but a command. Is that clear? Yes, Your Highness. Good. The second reason I called you is, Snow complained to me that 
you were using her to perfect your fighting skills. Well done. Next time I get such a report about you, you will have me to contend with. You may leave. Oh, I'm sorry, Your Highness. Uh, Sarah. Your Highness. I just want to remind you on something. You see those scales? Can you still remember what you and your parents feed on in the village? Good. That is exactly what they feed their dogs and servants with. It's not an insult. I just want you to know that there are class differences. Know your peace. Get out. Inside the royal house, everything is possible. Strange things happen every day. For royalty is big business. Your car is pretty cool. You know, actually, my father just got me a Range Rover Sport. Which I considered not feminine, so I asked him to change it to an SUV or something like that. <laughs> Good for you. Um, can I shock you? I've not driven all my life. My father's drivers have been the one driving me, you know? <laughs> because I've been in the States and I've been in the States where I studied in the London School of Economics. Oh God, that was one of my best experiences. <laughs> Your question? Uh, you studied in London School of Economics in the States? So you studied in London and States at the same time? Um, you know, right, um, my father does not care how much he spends on me. As far as his body gets the best, he actually pays $250,000 a year. Um, I got admitted at the School of Cambridge for my master's degree, but I decided to go to Oxford where I had my degree in chemistry. You must be highly exposed because you've traveled a whole lot, right? Yeah, don't you like it that women won't get married so. It's all good. It's all good. Son? Why did you want to have dinner with us? I'm not in the mood of eating. Why? Does it have anything to do with the girls in the palace? Come, oh, sweetheart, if you don't like them, I can arrange for another set. That's the point, Mom. My name is not King Solomon. I mean, how could you? You brought in four different women from different backgrounds for me to choose from. Come on. I am a full grown man. I know what I want in a woman. I have my own test and class. What's all this? Lutana, I hope it does not have anything to do with Sarah. Now I understand. If you need the touch of a woman, let me know. And I'll ask one of the girls to come. Mom, can you please act your age and as a mother for once? Okay, so what do you need? I need to be left alone, Mom. I was just trying to help. So let's keep every sentiment aside and try to be objective here. And what's the real objective? What to do with the issue of brand? Why are you provoking everybody? Excuse you the hell out of me? Oh. What the hell do you mean by provoking everybody? Oh, are you done with your back trip gossip and now you're coming at me directly, huh? huh? Listen, Snow or whatever your name is, Miss Eretta defined our rules of engagement before we came here. Oh, and can you say by any sense of responsibility that you have been abiding by those rules, fool? Oh, just so you don't know, this is the king's living room. I don't see a reason why you should take some stupid calls here, dummy. You don't know who I was talking to, and you have the right to rank my call as useless. Stop getting on my way before I see you. 
time for useless assumption. If you fail to define your boundary and restrict yourself to it, I'll be forced to cut you into size. Pause, pause now. Look at you. All this drama is too much. I just, it's getting really hot in here. Ah, shoes. You don't know one, no? You don't know one, no? This family, especially the women, she will never allow somebody like you to go close to yeah, her son. I've told you this thing before, but you will not listen. Eh? And who says I'm going close to her son? Eh? Eh? The queen is only thinking that way because of the closeness between the prince and I. Eh, eh, it is not thinking. She's not thinking anything. It is the truth, Sarah. Ah, it is the truth. Eh? You think you think all of us are all blind? You not say you don't get sense. You don't have common sense. Sit up. But you and what you say is thinking is not my problem. You see that again? Snow. Hi. Snow. If we were in Nando, back in Nando, uh, uh, that girl will be visiting Ekene, the chemist man for treatment every day. I will not give that girl back. Shut up. up. Just drop. Sarah, what's your problem? You want to kill somebody? I beg. Let me beg you. Don't go into fighting with any of them. Oh, please. I forget about them. Just keep looking at them. You understand? You know their job. Right? Their job is if you kill, Cement. Cement. Yes. What for? Uh, she says she wants to cement, cement the fence. Mm. Sorry. She wants to cement uh, that broken pit at the backyard. Ah, you don't know Sarah. Very hard working woman brain. Way back and ah, if you come to Nando, it would, everybody knows. The love of this young man ah. story. Ah. Once she's back, tell her to see me at once. Okay, my prince. Hope my message is clear. It's very clear. Very, very clear. My prince. Very clear. Very clear. Yeah. See me in my room later. Okay.
that happened to a mao. He would decide to lock up himself. He would decide. My prince, you sent for me. Yes, I did. Please sit. Thank you, my prince. I wonder what is running through his head. Is he admiring me already? Oh my god. I know you will be wondering why I sent for you. Exactly, my prince. It came to me as a surprise because it's never happened before. But who knows? Maybe my prince is beginning to like me for real. Mm -hmm. Well, like is an understatement. I admire your sense of responsibility. Now tell me, are you faking all this just to impress me or is this the way you live your life? <laughs> I am not a pretender, my prince. I am being for real. And if you look deeper, you would see I'm living my real life. Okay. Keep it up. Thank you, my prince. You may leave. I'll talk to you some other time. Thank you, my friends. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You mean you couldn't find her? No way, my prince. Where could she be then? I don't know. I've already checked her room twice and I couldn't find her. Does it mean she left this palace without anybody's consent? I, I don't know. Go and look for her again. Yes, my friend. 
Same dramas of yesterday. Ah, uh, okay. You look so disturbed. Are you okay? Have you seen Sarah? Excuse me? I mean, did you just ask me that? Oh, my prince, come on. You can't do that. I mean, how can you possibly ask me about a girl that your mother, in her wisdom, told us that she's a nobody? I mean, that's rude. Uh, but, but that's by the way, actually. Listen, my prince, you know, I am a lady, a pretty one at that. Listen, I was thinking, don't you think it's high time we start making plans on how to, you know, spend some quality time together, go somewhere very nice, like go see a movie and all that, you know, have fun. What do you think? Oh, my prince, I, I do not see her. Are you sure? Yes, my prince. Once you set your eyes on her, fetch her. Do just that, my I have to look for Sarah. Excuse me. Well, my friends, it is a big palace. If I decide to hide, you won't find me. Like I'm doing now. <laughs> and I'm sure you won't find me. I will you find you. I will. I have been informed of the recent happenings in the palace. 
and it amazes me because such a situation has never arisen in the palace. And I have not even hired any new staff for such changes to take place. Now I warn, whoever is involved in this act should desist from it. Because I will not be lenient with such a person when he or she is caught. Is that clear? Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. I hope I need not remind you that whoever steals from the royal household will be sent out of the palace. And by royal household, it includes our guests because they have been complaining bitterly. You may go back to your duty post. Bloody thieves. I don't know who's stealing. Inside the royal house. Hold on. Um, Everything okay. is possible. Mm -hmm. Strange what? things okay. happen every day. Yeah. For royalty, <laughs> big business. Don't be too sure. In the royal house. Okay. There no. is a permanent oh, 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 oh. interest that okay. is above okay. everything. Interest that is above Continue. everybody. Hold on. At all times, they all protect that interest. <laughs> Are you sick or something? Or are you just hating on my skin? I'm sorry. No. Come on, Bella. That was only a mistake. And could happen to anyone. Why are you making a fuse? Miss Righteous! At least allow her to express her anger. Sometimes I wonder how the royal family stands a bunch of lazy idiots. Get out! Get out! <laughs> Look at her! Is she even staring at us? Uh, uh, Madame Bella. What? Um, uh, one woman, there outside the gate. She said she wants to see you. A, a, a woman? Bella, why would a woman be waiting for you outside the gate? I wouldn't know now uh, unless I go out there to find out. Oh, please do. Later. What? Why are you following me like a flyer? I said I would keep it. Wait, oh, 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 Hey, sorry for the slap. Take this one inside. Take this one inside there. It is not a weekend matter. The people you asked us to borrow money from for the things you needed to buy to come here are all on our necks. And why has the prince not choosing you with all those beautiful things you bought? Mama, the competition here is very high. Oh. It is very high. <laughs> Mama, see, about the money, you know I can't possibly do anything here now. I'm trying my best, Mama. I'm trying my best. See, just go. I'll send you the money later, mm -hmm. please. Are all this going to be in vain? And uh, I don't know why you refuse to appear your real self like I advised. Oh, Mama, see, please, 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 just forget about that, eh? See, let me tell you, that time is oh, olden days. Now is a new age. See, leave me to myself. I know what I'm doing, Mama, please. Ah, don't, don't talk about that, Mama. See, come and start going. Come and start going. I don't want anybody to see you. Before you put me in trouble. Ah, Mama, be going. 
Are you not giving me transport fare? I don't have any money for transport. of herself. Eh? This slap she gave to me is the hardest slap I've ever received in my life. Eh? Can you imagine? Hmm. So if you had done something worse, she would have cut off your head. That girl is so mean. I don't even like the other one. I mean Snow. But this very one, ha! She has the worst character. Honestly. Charles, I swear. I swear with my life. If not for the respect I have for the king. Ha. I would have given her a harder slap, walk out, pack my bags, and leave without waiting for the king to even send me out. I'm just glad I'm not working in her section, honestly. Because I'm not going to take any form of abuse from anyone. Honestly, I'm not. Hi. Sorry for what happened, okay? So sorry. I just heard Ijeoma and Biffy talking about it. So, I decided to come and see you myself. I have to go back to my duty post. Can you imagine? Just try as you can to avoid... The queen mother is calling it. Really? Yes. I must find a way to deal with that girl. She can't go and punish. She can't. And yes, if I rightly recall, we were meant to understand by Miss Henrietta that your father was a civil servant that retired from the Ministry of Defense. That's right. So, why are you behaving like the daughter of a general overseer? Or did anybody tell you in your wildest dream that the prince is looking for a non foreign wife, silly? <laughs> you know, I've been doing every possible thing to avoid all your troubles in this palace. So, why can't you let me be? No, no, I'm not gonna let you be because you're too sneaky. Excuse me. Like yes, see, I can take all things already, but surely not anyone messing around my things. What are you talking about? Can you give it a bit no, baby? If for nothing, respect the fact we are in the palace. Yeah. Oh, God, that crap. A perfume I got through my life visit to Paris for 700 euro has gone missing. All I'm saying is that anybody who has it should bring it out already. Happy, are we ever going to come out of this nonsense? Why are you accusing everyone? I'm not accusing everyone. I want to say that whoever has got my perfume should bring it out. Do you know what 700 euro is? Yeah. And who asked you to call me? I did! Yes. You got for nothing, idiot. Joke. Are you going to claim that you are unaware that I am so qualified right here in this palace to other you around? Huh? <laughs> Winter, you want to order me around? As what? Did she just like, lay her beauty hands on me like, like now? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Now, you listen to me, you trap. You said the other day that you are in charge of only God knows what. So tell me, 
Tell us, Rana. What in your little scruffy mind do you think that you're in charge of? Say it! God, help Winta. If I deal with this girl, help her matan. Listen, in our land, Nando, a land of peace and progress, we have a pattern. And that pattern is to mind our business. So, I will ignore the trap that calls another a trap. <laughs> I mind my business. itself again. I will send you back to your home. I repeat, if it ever repeats itself again, I will send you away from here. But my Shut up. Don't speak unless you're asked to. But your highness, I don't think you're handling this thing the right way. I mean, what right has she got to lay a filthy hand on our guests? I don't know. I cannot remember asking for your opinion in my judgment. Now, did I make myself clear? Yes, Your Majesty. You all are just annoying. Silly things. It's royal game, royal game, royal game, royal game of the mind. Bring me now. What's this? What's this? Raise, raise, raise it. That's my jewelry box. Let me see. What? Bring me now. Authority? The offer? You took your phone! Let me do that! You took my symbol of authority? How could you be born with such a stupid and dead? Now, there is a driver waiting to pick you up. Yes, Your Majesty. 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 Yes, Your Majesty
and the guard out there waiting to take you back to your father's house oh. safely. Get! Take it away! Take it And my bead? Your bead? Yeah, that's your bead. Give, give it to me. Thank you. Oh! I did not see my name. Come back and take all these things away. Yeah, give me that money. Take that piece. Okay? And come to think of it. You know, those very expensive perfumes you got on your last trip to Paris. None of them was found in Nina's treasury box. How come? What kind of stupid question is that? How how, how am I supposed to know why my stuff's were in there? Oh, I can see you are out to insult me. Sweetheart. <laughs> 700 you on her last trip to Paris. Ah. <laughs> Whatever. Sarah, I want you to tell me the truth. What is going on between you and Mark? My prince, nothing, nothing, I swear. Marcos is like a brother to me. There's nothing going on between me and Marcos. I swear. So, why does he act weird when it comes to issues concerning you? I don't know. I don't know, but there's nothing going on between me and Marcos. I'm telling you the truth. Nothing. Alright, that's by the way. I need you to do me a favor. I want to take you out tomorrow to a very special place. Oh, please, no boots. Eh? Huh? No boots. Ha! My prince, no. Mm -mm, no. See, the last time you advised me not to wear these boots, Nena, that thief, she carried my boots. I cannot risk leaving this boot anyway. If I'm sleeping, I'm wearing this boot. If I'm eating, I'm wearing this boot. I cannot leave this boot. Moreover, Marcos. Alright, I've ordered a maiden to dress you up tomorrow. Yes. 11 a.m. My prince is okay, but, but I must wear my boots. I must wear. Please. Okay. Let me kneel down and beg you. I don't want you to wear this boot. No, 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 my prince. You, you don't have to kneel before me. You don't. I'm just a commoner. Okay. I'm not wear the boot. I'm not wear it. But you have to carry the boot as you are going. You then one guard to hold the boots by inside so that nobody will carry the boots. 
we need to go with it. That's okay with me. Thank you very much, okay? 11 a.m. tomorrow. No problem, my prince. Good night. Good night. Snow, what is it you want to tell me that you're finding very difficult to say? Not exactly, my queen. It's not really like I'm finding it difficult. Then out with it. Okay. My queen, I think the prince is having an affair with Sarah. What? No. It's not possible. It's not just possible. My son cannot stoop so low as in dating a commoner. No. My queen, with what I have been saying and with what I saw today, I am convinced that something is going on between those two. What did you see? Well, I saw them You know what? You may just be right. I think I misread their friendship for a relationship. I guess you're right. You see, Sarah has been the only true friend my son has had in the past three years. You don't need to worry your pretty head. There's nothing going on between them. Are you sure? Okay. So, I'll just retire back to my room now. Okay. So you take care of yourself? I will. And stay beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I will be. Alright. Okay, Jerry. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. You're welcome, dear. This girl is still hanging around my son. <sighs> what do I do to this trap? My prince, I can't believe you brought me here. If your mother finds out that I left the palace with you, she'll be very mad at me. Come on, Sarah, can we stop talking about my mom for once? We are now in our own world, a new world, so let's enjoy our world, okay? <laughs> okay, but then I want to ask, why are you always here alone? I mean, the first time I met you, you were here alone with Uche. And today, we're here together alone. Why? Well. This place is called the Parliament. It's part of our family business. Oh. Yes. And where you are is reserved. This okay. place helped me brought back my sanity and inner peace. This same place I met this beautiful angel sitting before me. Can we stop talking about this place and talk about us? <laughs> Okay, I'm listening. Good. <laughs> Forget about why I'm laying down and listen to me. I'm always here because this place was part of my healing process. This same place gave me peace and comfort. This same place I met this wonderful creator sitting before me. This same place I met this beautiful angel that made me smile from the deepest part of my heart once again. 
after a very long time. Sir, please, will you marry me? Never. This will never happen. Not when I am still your mother. It will not happen. I am still talking and you are holding him. Will you take those filthy hands off my son? Keep it low, man. Keep it low. And stop shouting like someone that is demented. What? Oh, yes. Oh, I haven't even said a word about this since they told us. And you're here shouting and ranting as if you want to bring down the roof. You're happy now. You're happy now, right? Because of you, my husband called me demented. Something he has never done since he married me. I tell you something. This will not happen. What do you call this? What kind of union is this? Pitiful union? This is a mistake. And I will not say yes. It will not happen. It will be over my dead body that this will happen. Adana, why are you swearing against your son's happiness? Moreover, when did you start taking decisions for me? You know what? I'm done. I'm done listening to this. You, you people are hurting my ears. I will not listen to this anymore. I will not! I will not! battle right I tell you something the battle just began the battle line has been drawn leave the prince alone if you disobey me I'll make you regret ever stepping your foot into this palace it is not a threat but a promise and I keep my promise Even your stupid dead grandmother has a clue about being royalty. So you quit trying <laughs> and just be a wee little good girl and lie on your stupid bed. Royal game. Royal game. Mm. 
Then I stop shouting. I will shout. I will shout because keep me quiet will make you think you're doing the right thing or even making the right decisions. For goodness sake, can't you ever see things from my own point of view? Both of them are not meant to be. I have tried to tolerate your excesses in recent times. And it is getting at me. Can't you use your brains? We destroyed the life of our son years back. And here you are. Wanting us to go the same lane. Why don't you just let this little girl be? Why are you stressing this? This girl is an adorable girl. Oh, please. Your Majesty, please. Don't even try to blackmail me emotionally with what happened to her son years back. I don't even see anything adorable about that, Sarah. What you should be thinking about right now is what we have to do with our guests who have already arrived. What do we do with them? Send them home. Yes, send them home. Remember that you also received some training to become the woman you are today. Mm. After all, you, you were nothing before my parents brought you to me as a wife. Oh yes, please, let this little girl be. Oh, I need to retire to bed. Dancing and not mind what anyone says. Uh -huh. Why are you this nice to me? You don't want the prince like the other girls. <laughs> I won't lie to you. I want the prince as well. I mean, he is cool headed, cute, and every woman's dream. But then you can't fight for the heart of a man that belongs to another. Think so? I know so. So cheer up and stand up for what is rightfully yours, right? Oh, don't cry. <laughs> don't cry, it's okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought a girl like Sarah would end up with the priest of Akopa Kingdom? Do you men instant believe my source? Why won't we believe what you are saying? Is everything not obvious? Honestly, Sarah is just a lucky girl. Amongst those beautiful girls brought here, the prince chose her. See true love. I told you girls that my source is a true fact. Mm -hmm. But come, where do you get all this information? I wonder. <laughs> oh my god. If I tell you girls where I get my gossip, what will be the fun in it? Besides, I think you girls should go back to your duties. Because if the queen finds us here, hmm, we are as good as dead. As for me, I'm going. Mm -hmm.
You're welcome, my elders. Igwe. Igwe. As we all know, in line with the tradition of our people, when the heir to the throne finds a future queen, certain traditional rites must be carried out. Your Highness, we all heard the great news. But what bothers us is that this girl in question, no one knows where she's from. Her parents, her background, and all. That is not too good. So we seriously need to look into that. Well, rightly said. We may not know her, yes. But we know somebody who knows her. But before anything, we are already making arrangements to get all information concerning the leading question. Lies. All lies. There is no way that girl will ever become the queen Adana. of Adana. If one more word from you, I will send you out of this place and you will find yourself in your father's house. My elders, I'm sorry about that. Uh, we need to start making preparations. But first, we will start by sending delegates to her place so that we can get appropriate information about the girl. At least we need to know everything about her. <coughs> Your Highness, pardon me. Um, I don't mean to go against your decision. But if you ask me, I will say that this lady in question, who I have seen on different occasions, is not befitting of a queen. It is adding the God will bless you. Amen. In fact, he has already blessed you with so much wisdom. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. I have been singing this thing into my husband's ear. But no, he wouldn't listen to me. He said I was overreacting. Have you heard it from a wise elder now? Have you heard it? Woman, your... hold your peace, woman. Mm -hmm. And let the men do the talking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Adana. Your Majesty. I will not caution you again on this issue. My elders, it is true that the lady in question does not possess all the qualities of a queen. But we're already working on that. We have already employed a tutor who will coach her on the necessary things of becoming a queen. I call this meeting so that you can start making preparations after the necessary informations have been received, the main thing will happen. That will be all for now. So your plan is to sabotage everything for me, eh? Mama, what's wrong? What are you doing here? Don't you know that you could end up spoiling things for me if anyone comes out and sees you? Does it look like I care if someone comes out and sees me? All I am saying is that it's either you give me the money or I will step an inch from here. Please, just go home, eh? I will send you more money as soon as I become the prince's wife. Everything is working out as planned for me. Don't come here and spoil it for me, Mama. Uh -huh. This is what you've been saying for over a month and some weeks now. When I call, you will drop the phone on me. Just go in there, pack your things so that we could leave and continue with our plantain business so that we could make some money to release your father from cell. Mama, bring down your voice now. Uh -uh, bring down your voice, Mama. Come and start going. Eh? Someone could come out here and see you now, please. Come and start going, Mama. Join us. What is going on here? 
Your Highness. Uh, um, uh, my, my, my king, she, she's my she's my father's gardener. No, um, my father's cleaner. My father asked her to come get something from me. <laughs> this girl has killed me. She is my last daughter. <laughs> This thing standing here is my daughter. Hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Bella, is she your mother? Begging. Like, who is Bella? Onye? Her name is Chekube Philomena of She is my daughter. She forced her father and I to borrow money that she had some projects here in the palace. And we did. Three days ago, her father was arrested. And I don't have any money to bail him out. That is why I have come to take her home. So that we will continue with our plantain selling. Ah, hey. So we could raise money to bail her father out. Give me the Wait, wait. Give me plantain what? I can't believe what I'm hearing. No, but hold on a minute. Mama, I, I mean, Madame Caro, stop saying things that are not true. Eh? My king, do my hair. She's, she's lying, don't listen to her. She has a psychological hey. problem. So keep quiet, keep quiet. Keep quiet. No, sure, sure, sure. Hold on a minute. Is it not the same? Uh, Bella that was introduced to us as the only daughter of uh, Oliver Okongo, uh, the CEO of Okongo yeah. Trading and Sons Trading Company. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Chekube, you even denied your identity. <laughs> hey! Now listen to me, uh, Bella or uh, Chekube, whatever your name is. I want nothing but the truth. How did you get here? Just tell me how you got here. Was Herita not given money to do proper investigations before sending names to, to you? Speak to me, how did you get here? My king, I, I gave Mr. Herita some of the money my, my, my parents borrowed. Hi. And, and um, she covered up for me. I don't have anything to do with the Okungu family. Aku. I don't have any association with them at all. Your Highness. Please, I don't want any problem. Just release her for me so that I'll take her home. Uh, madam, there is no problem at all. Um, you will go with her right away because she's not getting into this palace anymore. Is that okay? But before then, I'm going to ask the guards to go in with her and get the rest of her belongings. No, my and you are going to bring out only the things that she came here with. Yes, okay? sir. Uh, as for the money that you are owing. I'm going to order them to send some money to you to offset the debts. Okay? You, so you can take care of it. That's. Oh, There was something fake about that girl. The way she talks, the way she orders us around, acting like someone who has never been served her entire life and is being served now. Ooh, that slap. That slap is what I cannot forget in a hurry. Como plantain seller had the guts to slap me who receives more pay than her. No, I must find that girl and return that slap. I swear. <laughs> The next in line is that one that was like Peacock, never letting her feet touch the ground as if she's walking on the sky. Can you imagine? Mm. I can't wait for her to leave. She speaks too much grammar and it aches my head. Honestly. They should all go my lap, Sarah to be happy. Although I like Amara because she's easy going and calm. But unfortunately for her, the prince is already with Sarah. I just hope she will find a man that will truly love her someday. Mm, I hope so. We all pray for that. Your own prayer should be the other way around. Information means that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sabia, stop! Yes.
Mom, you're happy now, right? Don't tell me you're happy. Imagine the shame and disgrace your so-called angels brought upon this household. First a kleptomaniac, now a liar and a plantain seller. What a disgrace. Son, please stop. I will not have you mock me further. You did that earlier and I kept quiet. I did this whole thing for you to be happy. How on earth was I supposed to know that Nana and Bella had been... She could be forget. Listen, Mom. The devil you know is better than the angel you don't know. Fine. I concur to the fact that Sarah does not have the threats that make her queen. But that is something we could work on. Changing her appearance cannot change the fact that she does not have the kind of background I want for my daughter-in-law. Let us forget all this recent drama, please. Why don't you choose Snow? She is decent. And I'm sure she will make a good queen. Spare me that, Mom. Snow. That drama doll. The daughter of a brewer. That will end up becoming a drunk. Come on. If I had not chosen Sarah, Amara would have been my best bet. Yes. At least she has the characteristics of a queen. Son, forget her appearance. I know her type. She is cunning. Honestly, she will change like a chameleon the moment you get married to her. Who knows? She might even convince you to throw your father and I out of this palace. Well, I, I will not even allow you to choose her as a wife. All right, Mom. Let me summarize this for you. One, you don't have the right to choose your wife. Two, I am not here for you to make choices for me. Three, the earlier you accept Sarah as your daughter-in-law and start treating her as one, the better for all of us. Finally, Send those little angels of yours out of this parlor so that we can have peace and space. I tell you something, son. There will never be peace until you start thinking straight. We shall see about that. Yes, we shall see. Yes? Whatever, whatever. In the royal house, there is a permanent interest. Interest that is above everything. That is above everybody. Water, wine. At all times, they all Thank protect you, that interest. Interest that is above everybody. They can pay anything for that interest. They can go their self for that interest. Above all, above everything. <laughs> Greetings, my queen. Uh, uh, I wasn't expecting you to show up. You took me on the land. I know exactly what is going through your mind right now. And I've come to deal with it. You know what's going through my mind? Snow, I am not just a woman. But also the queen of this land. And before women come to me with their problems, I already know what their problems are. You have been thinking about the way you've been fighting over a man with someone who cannot even sit with you. And because of that, you want to go. Very true. 
you actually know what's going through my mind. Sincerely, I was going to come to you to tell you that I'll be leaving tomorrow. No, Snow. You will not leave because you are already a winner. And winners don't quit. Have you bothered to ask yourself what people would say if you abandon this process? What people will say? Mother, truly, I don't care what people say or think. Listen, this whole drama, this whole thing, I have had them up to here. I don't want to keep up with them any longer. Very soon, the workers in this palace will start making mockery of me. I even feel they make side comments when I walk past them. I can't keep up any longer. Please, mother, let me, let, let me go, please. Well, child, you will not go. Because I, I already have a little plan. And by the time I am done with them, a lot of things will change around here. Listen, sweetheart. I don't just make promises. I keep them. Your Majesty, my Queen, with all due respect and with no intent to question your authority, this well laid out plan of yours. How sure are we that it will work? Too many things can happen to a man. He would decide to lock up himself. He would decide to be all alone. You are the to speak to everybody. My friends, whatever it is, could be deeper than the mind. Could be deeper than the mind. And it's buried inside of the day. What is the game? The road. Amara, why are you leaving? Did my mom say anything to you? No, she did not. Leaving the palace is my decision. Mm. Yeah. Did you notify the king about this decision of yours? Of course I did, including the queen. Actually, I just finished talking to them some minutes ago. Amara, you are such an amazing person. Oh. If I hadn't found this wonderful woman beside me, you would have been my pick. And I would have been honored to be your wife, my prince. But from the depths of my heart, I'm happy for you both. You two belong to each other. Now promise me that you won't allow anyone come between you both. I promise. That's more like it. Come here, darling. I'm going to miss your funny jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Are you getting emotional? I'll miss you too. Aww. You're a very nice person. Aww. I'll miss you more. But just don't beat down the whole palace, please. <laughs> I'm beating in here. I'm already free to visit anytime you wish. Oh. You are indeed a true friend to this royal household. Thank you, my prince. I will always visit. And of course, I'm going to be here for the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Save Johnny. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.
four pretty maidens were brought here so the prince could make a choice of a wife. And Sarah was supposed to be a supporting heart to the fulfillment of this purpose, but no. She thought it wise to cunningly dance her way into my son's heart with her stupid jokes. Now I'm left with only Snow, who I think is the perfect bride for my son. There must be a way to get Sarah out of the picture. And that, I must make sure it happens. They can go the search for that interest Above all, above everything They can kill for that interest They can pay anything for that interest and we are going to make us useful for me. I'm sure you've seen everything that is happening in this palace. And how Sarah has betrayed me after everything I did for her. Well, Marcus, I didn't call you here for us to start pondering on what Sarah has done. But ways we can correct, correct it, and that is where you come in. Me? Yes, you. You want to see what can I possibly do? Eh? I cannot stop her from loving the prince or force her to go back to the village. At least you can try to be sensible for once. Who said anything about going back to the village or even stopping her from loving the prince, dumbass? Calm down, Snow. I will handle this. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Marcus, what I want you to do for me is very simple. I want you to lure her into your room and play her game. Let me your game. What is your game? Your Majesty, I have not been playing games. Oh, come on! You will not stand there and give that holier than thou attitude like you've not been with her in your room like countless times doing all that. Your Majesty! It's okay! It's okay! It's okay! Calm down, Marcos. It's okay. You don't need to shout, okay? Idiot! No, no, no! You just no. called me names! Come down, come down. Marcus. Your Majesty. What I want you to do for me, like I said, is actually very simple. And it is something you can do. Listen, if you succeed in doing this thing, you will be five million naira richer. Jesus! Oh, huh? Five million naira! They can pay what is it? For that interest. They can go the search for that interest. Above all, above that. So tell me, what is wrong if you spend a night in my room? <laughs> After all, you will soon be my wife. So you said, we'd have to wait until we are properly married. Then we can do whatever you want. Are you serious? Can't you sleep here? Moreover, you keep me here in your room every night and that is not nice, you know. Now let me tell you, you know why you're saying this? Because I've unlocked this door and... <laughs> swallowed the key. <laughs> I unlocked this door and I swallowed the key. But you know that won't be possible. It won't... Oh, I totally forgot. Marcos actually sent one of the maids to tell me that he needed to see me. I need to go. No, come on. What is Marcos? Tell me you will give an excuse to leave, right? No. He said it's very important. I need to see him. <laughs> Good night, my friends. I hope you don't want a good mother to come here. I'll wait. 
I will let you go on one condition. What? Come give me a hug. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, my princess. I love you too, my prince. <laughs> good night. And be good. Iu nanya ne wogio, makani u nanya kasifeni leo. Omoni huru nanya, apu biyekulu gine lu. Why did you say to me? The cook told me that the queen asked her not to serve you food. Have you eaten finally? Yes, my brother. I don't want to talk about it, but that woman is making me go through this pass. I don't know why the woman hates me so much. I don't know what I've done to her. Uh, forget the queen. Okay, forget her. See, I went out and bought you juice and bread. Hi! Look at it, the paper. Open it. Open it. I want you to eat and go back to your room. Open. No, my one and only sister. And I can't. Open, open, open. I'll not be here and allow me. Open. I'll let me stab you in this palace. Stop, stop, stop. Open. 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 Come on, don't give me that. What are you going to investigate further when the one we trust us has already proven beyond every doubt that she has no moral edge? Big trust, don't lie. Oh, Big trust, king. don't lie. My Take shut it from me. Shut my up. My king, my king, I did not do it. I, I said, shut up. <laughs> you are an immoral woman, Sarah. And you cannot speak before the king, let alone dreaming of spending your life with my son. Take her away. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes, she's my sister. Did I deny that she's not my sister? She's your sister and you slept with her. This is how useless people are in your town. Uh, uh, Uyeka, don't provoke me by bringing my time into this. You understand? If you don't know anything, just shut up. What nonsense is that now? See, if what happened, it depends on what we told you. Why then are you hiding here? Why not go out there and tell the, 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 the queen what actually happened? Who is hiding? Who is hiding? Eh? Listen. She was one that came to me and asked me to give it to her. And I did it. Hmm? Yes. Of course, the queen is punishing her because she was the one that came to me. Don't be angry with her. Did you do it? 
down the wall. You idiot. Come on, Susan. You sleep with her. Idiot. Ha! You don't need to just shut up. Listen, sir, this is actually the first time I'm asking you for a favor, and I'm sure you will not disappoint me. So what do you want? I want her to be picked up and remanded in custody until my son is married. We are talking about a poorly trained girl who talks anyhow. If you do this for me, you will be rewarded accordingly. I will give Thank necessary you. instructions. Your Majesty, does it look like he will do this? He does not have an option. The Queen of Akopa Kingdom does not make noise, but she has a voice in this land. Whenever she talks, men Yo, mama. If I never want you, mama. If I never want you, mama. What's in all the macaroni? Oh, the jelly macaroni. My prince. My ever charming prince. You shouldn't be like this, actually. Listen. I think you deserve better, you know. But anyways, you should be happy that this is happening now, rather than much later. Don't you think so? Hmm? Get out. Excuse me? Are you talking to me? I, you know, I was just trying, like, I... We Guess. We must. Okay, uh, that's fine. I was only trying to be a like. Alright, I'll just go. drugged at that palace. And I woke up and found myself in the arms of the kids, man. Everything is a setup. A setup. I, I don't know what I'm, what I'm doing in the police station. Just, just give me the chance. Give me the chance to prove myself, please. From what you're telling me, it's clear that you don't know what you're into. Exactly. I don't know. I don't. Okay. Why did they not give me the chance to to defend myself from the palace. Why was I thrown out of the palace? And why was I arrested? Do you know any good lawyer that can defend you tomorrow? What do you mean by lawyer? De defend me tomorrow? Look, the people you're up against are the mighty in the land. Hey. My area commander has been briefed and he's going to make sure that he executes the plan. So if you have any contact of any lawyer, just give it to me and I'll make sure that he or she comes to court tomorrow. First, I don't have any lawyer. I don't have any lawyer, no one. I did not do anything. I swear I didn't do anything. Okay, wait. Where's your guard? Your guard the top, the big one. I need to talk to him. I didn't do anything. Woman, I did not say you committed any crime. I'm just telling you this because I want to help you. Look, 
the people you're up against, they are going to make sure that what they started, they'll finish it. Hey. Sir, I don't have any lawyer. Nobody. I don't know anybody, no family member. I don't know who I can call. Oh. Then you have to start praying. You have to pray all night. Pray that the judge will throw away the case. They will send you a lawyer, but it's not going to be serious. You need God, now more than ever. Yes, I need you. Need you. Yes, what is it? Has my father said anything to you? How did you know? Because he has become the only one that brings me word from him. He wanted me to confirm if you've been purged of your stubbornness. And what did you tell him? I told him the truth, that you're now a new woman and that you've learned all your lessons and you've learned to listen to wise counsel. Um, what did he say to that? He may be out of here before the end of the month. He's working towards signing your bill bond. Once that is done, you will go home. That would be great. I can't wait to be free again. Importantly, as your former roommate has been freed, would you want me to get you another roommate to keep you company? Who? A young woman who got remanded. She's neat and intelligent. I think she'll make a good roommate. That officer that brought you here is Belinda. She told me about you, how neat you are, and very intelligent. I gave her my consent to bring you here. So you should count yourself very lucky to be spending your time in my private room. Because you won't have a dissonance if you were sent to the general hall. I don't know how I ended up here. How I ended up in this prison. The police officer asked me to get a lawyer. I told him I didn't have any lawyer. I don't have any lawyer to defend me. He said, okay, that they were going to get me a lawyer that would defend me. The lawyer said he knows everything, that he would defend me. And then I agreed though. He said I should tell them that I am guilty of all the charges, everything they are saying that I did, that I should agree. And I said, fine. I agreed. The next thing, I found myself here. That is it. Mm. Mm. Well, my name is... I cannot take this anymore. I can't. This cannot continue to happen. Is it because I'm keeping quiet? No. Woman, bring your voice down. Shouting is not going to help anything. I've already asked everybody to come out here. Why don't you just wait until they're all here? Eh? Then we can start from there. This way. Look at them. Look at them. Look at Go to that side! Look at all of you! Look at them! You are all thieves! Ah, woman. Thieves! Be quiet and let me speak. Ah. Now listen to me carefully, all of you. The queen has been complaining that a lot of things have been missing from the palace. Now, it is her box of trinkets. Very expensive trinkets. And we all know that no ghost will come into this palace to remove those trinkets. It has to be one of you here. One of you here must have done it. So, 
I am going to ask the queen and snow to go into your rooms and search and woe betide you in whose room this box of trinkets will be found. Yes, Mr. Anthony. There is a reason I've not been getting involved in our family business for the past three years. My father provoked me beyond the limit I could take, so I decided to look up. More reason I'm surprised with this your call. Is everything all right? Yes, everything is all right now, Mr. Anthony. I am appointing a team of auditors to come and audit our corporate affairs for the past three years. Uh, is your father aware of this? I am my father, and my father is me. They will be there tomorrow. Cooperate with them, Mr. Anthony. Okay. Is this a kind of African magic or what? Eh? My wind. I've never told you before. I don't know how this thing got into my room. Eh? In Nando, where I come from, the land of peace and progress. Still in the set of you. <laughs> I've never told you before. <laughs> Will you shut up? <clears throat> Why is it that when you're nice to people, they always disappoint you? <laughs> huh? Yes. Marcos, uh, uh, what do you want to do with my trinkets now? Not shut no. up! Shut up! Well, Marcos, <laughs> I am glad mm. that you know that even in Nando, where you come from, stealing is a taboo. <laughs> shut up, shut up. Uh. Well, now, <laughs> you are going to leave this palace immediately <laughs> for stealing from the royal family. It's <laughs> also a taboo. <laughs> quiet, quiet. <laughs> Written on my lips very well. You are going to leave this palace by yourself before I hand you over to those who may make you live otherwise. I don't know if it's going to be. I don't know if it's going to be. I don't know if it's going to be. Now, this is exactly what will happen to any of you that does the same thing. Interest that is above everything. Interest that is above everybody. In one short sentence, why are you calling me? Uh, my queen, I know you are the one doing all this thing. I know, you are doing it. Everywhere. Hey, I played it. So that check that you promised to give me, the five million naira, uh, how do I get it? Should I just tell me where to come and pick it or I send somebody? Or do you want me to send you my account number? So you will be wired it immediately. <laughs> you must be very stupid to think I will give you five million naira for that little thing you did for me. You know, I forgot to ask you how my trinket box got to your room. I've always known that you are stupid, but I never knew you were this foolish. But, but my queen, I, I, I played my own very well. The game. You play your own now. Will you shut up? Let me warn you. If you ever call this number again, your people will be looking for money for your funeral. Right now is the highest. You are the daughter of a judge. How did you end up in prison? I underestimated my father. He was actually the one that passed the judgment that landed me in prison. Huh? 
Should I tell you the truth? Yes. I hold nothing against my father. He wrote his name in gold with the judgment. And I'm hoping to be free from here so that I can tell him how I treasure him. Hi! I want to understand something. I mean, am I going insane already? Your father passed the judgment and sent you to jail. And you are here praising him. I, I, I don't understand. How did it happen? I can't believe you brought me to your house. And why not? Are you not my boyfriend? See, you should start getting used to me now. And the process starts with you getting used to my father. Well, it's okay. I mean, just that I've heard a lot about your father. And how strict he is as a judge. I equally know he's a knight in the church. Do you think he would like the idea of a guy visiting his daughter? Come on, Sean. My father is a learned man and well traveled. Mm -hmm. And he wouldn't have a problem with someone visiting his daughter, trust me. Um, it's um, just trying to. Good afternoon, sir. There was really a young man my brother spoke to me about. He is that. His name is Sean, my friend. Okay. Well, good night. Maybe he was. Let me have a private chat with him. Okay? He must have a reason for the decision. He concluded that Sean was not a credible friend. He painted him as, as someone who was not qualified to be with someone like me. I really felt wounded because I loved Sean with everything in me. Why are we here? Um, well, people who are in love must not have a reason in doing all things. Love alone can push you in doing so many things. And to answer your question, if you look around, you will see this is a love garden. And we are here because we are in love. I love you so much. You have an explanation for practically everything. Sincerely from my heart, my love. I love you the more. You see, way back in Amsterdam, we discovered that every woman wants her man to explain everything to her. So, you see, I am loving you the European way. Do you have a problem with that? Hmm. Why would I have a problem with a standard that is already turning me crazy. <laughs> you see, Sean, 
I'm hoping that he will overcome my father someday. He doesn't like you. And his continued resistance is weakening me. But you are weakened. Come on, Edna, what's wrong with you? Huh? Listen, since I came back from Amsterdam, you have been the only woman I have loved. And I am ready to sacrifice my life for you. Come on, can't you do the same for me? I ignored my father. And continued seeing Sean. Because deep inside of me, he was the best. He loved me. And was always there for me. So, what happened? I mean, how did you end up in prison? Oh my goodness! This is not happening! Sean! You were making love to a woman and she died in your apartment! What's the thing are you telling me? What's the now? I am sorry, okay? I mean, it's not as you think. Okay, fine. She was a banker. She was the one that threw herself at me. She threw herself at you and you brought her home. Are you this irresponsible? <sighs> My father was right about you after all. Listen, Edna. I mean, it's a good thing you came in a time such as this. All I want from you is help me get rid of that body. That's all. Excuse me? I should do what? And now how else do you want to show me you love me? Huh? Fine, I admit. It's a mistake on my own part. Fine. Okay, bringing that bitch home was a mistake on my own part. And failure to also let her go while she was screaming was also a mistake. But come on, girl. That bitch is dead. She's dead. Listen, girl. Listen. All I want is for you to help me get out of this mess. Please! What? Before the girl died in his apartment, she managed to send an urgent message to a brother of hers who was a member of the special school saying that someone was taking her against her wish. I believe she sent the address of her location. I was still in his apartment, trying to figure out what to do. When the officers invaded the place, and we were caught with our events. Hey, I'm sorry. You see, this is very bad. Very bad. I don't know, no. But I know your case is really, really bad. We are charged with murder. I explained everything to my father. But he was very angry and sent me to jail. Hi. So, so, what happened to Sean? Sean? He's in jail too. But I've never set my eyes on him because men and female inmates don't meet. But each time I remember what he did to me, how he betrayed me by sleeping with that, that girl. 
to the point of having her die in his apartment. I feel like, I feel like ripping his flesh off his bones. Sorry, sorry. I have been here thinking that my life has been very rough. But yours is tougher. And I feel your pains. It's, it's okay. Belinda told me that my dad is thinking of signing my bill box. For indeed, I'm upset. So, having listened to your story, I'll make you a promise. Make a statement to my father on your behalf. to death. Oh, come on, this is too much. Listen to me. I think you should stop doing this to yourself. Okay? Listen, try and give yourself a chance. At least find someone else who will love you or even appreciate you very much. Enough to help you get out of bad state. Look at me. Am I not pretty enough? Why not to give me a chance? A chance to show you how beautiful life can be. And trust me, it will be way beautiful than what it is. Seriously, Edna, my friend, no, my sister, by the grace of God, you fall my hand. Hi! When you were talking about Sean, and the way his name sounds, Sean, I thought you were talking about one serious human being. Are you still going to blame me? No. No. I will, I'm not blaming you. I am not blaming you. But as a friend, I have to tell you the truth. You see all these Nigerian guys that live in Europe, doing drugs, doing 419. They should not attract the attention of any serious babe. They should not. They are all trash. All of them, trash. You see me, even me a village girl. Ha! They have been coming. Trying their luck, but they did not succeed. Ha! Edna, senior babe like you, you fell for that nonsense. How? Why? Who try you? Sarah, it was a mistake. A mistake I regret. Have we not gone beyond this already? I've prayed, Belinda. To inform my father about you. And I'm certain we may live here together. I was here like two hours ago to console 
and then you practically begged me to sleep in your bed and then you said touch. But I like you. <laughs> oh my womb, alcohol, 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 why did you do You know what? Just get get out. Leave my room. Leave! Leave! Just leave my room! Leave! What is it? Leave! Mom, can you help me ask this thing what she's doing here? I slept with her. Oh. You slept with her? Yes! It wasn't intentional. Come on, son. Is that why you were, you were just shouting and looking as if you saw something strange? It's nothing. Come on. Mom, it's a big deal for me. How did she? You know what? Just leave. That's not important now. So tell me. Did you have a good time? Mm -hmm. Royal game. Royal game. Mm -hmm. Royal game. That is very smart of you. Wow. You didn't even let me in on this. Huh? I never knew you would be able to get him this fast. Okay. I actually didn't mean for that to happen. Okay. Now here is it. I was just passing by and I found his door. So I slid in. <laughs> I didn't really have to say much because he was drunk. Wow. This is good. This is so good. You see why I said you're the smartest amongst those dummies they brought here? Here, okay. I got in mm -hmm. and we started kissing, and a few seconds later, he fell on me. Wow. <laughs> so I took off his coat, I took mine off as well, and we didn't do anything actually. Royal game, 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 Yes, no. My son. Why have you decided to live your life this way? Hmm? Why have you decided... You can go. Why have you decided to live your life this way? There's a beautiful girl by your side. Why are you just throwing her away? Mother, she is not my type of woman. If she is not your type of woman, why don't you make her become your type? Oh, by the way, if she's not your type of woman, why did you get intimate with her? That was a mistake that will never happen again. I've told you countless times. You did tell me it was a mistake. But you know, some mistakes can be lovely. Mara, give me time to come around. The truth is, I am finding it very difficult to forget about Sarah. I miss her. Oh, please, please, son. Don't mention that name here. Very well, then. You said I should give you some time. Time you shall get. But remember that delay is dangerous. Everything is possible. Strange things happen every day. For royalty is big business. Hello. Hmm? How are you doing? Fine. Well, your billboards have been signed. And your father is waiting outside. So you both can come with me right now. Ah! Hey! Bill! Oh, no. My boots! Hey! My boots! Are 
you been to Vegas before? No, I haven't. Las Vegas, city of casino. Don't worry, I'll take you there. Hmm, I like the sound of that. I have a condo in Vegas. Whoa. In Vegas, this is good money. How to do that game? Please just spell it out. <laughs> Mom, please say something. Anything, just say something. Anything. Oh no, just anything. Oh. Come on, tell us what is it? Okay, I just can't wait to spill it. So, tell me, what does this look like? It's a ring. Oh, not just any ring. Wait a minute. The prince has proposed to you? And I said yes! Making you my daughter's roommate in the prison. Idly, Edna, my daughter, is not meant to be in the prison because she's not the principal suspect. But she was unlucky to be at the wrong place and at the wrong time. I allowed her to suffer in that prison to pay for her disobedience because she had someone to advise her, and that's me, her father. But for you, I heard how your father ended up a gambler. Anyway, as long as you live here, I will advise that you try as much as possible to draw closer to decency. A decent one can open any door. Sir, I'm short of words, to be honest. I mean, when I thought my world had crumbled, you came in and became a backbone to me. I promise you, sir, as long as I live here, I will work towards the same scene as you have advised. I'm really grateful. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. May he continue to bless you. Hello. Good my daughter. <laughs> I'm sure you've not said damaging things about me. I'm a changed person, Dad. And you can attest to that. Yes. I am very happy to have you back and And I believe that by now you would have known why I did what I did. It's because I see God in all of these. And I'm hoping you've learned your lessons. Hmm? 
make sure for your friend is very comfortable. Make her feel so much at home, okay? If you need anything, don't hesitate to let me know. Okay? Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. May God continue to bless you. Thank you, Edna. She's crying. <laughs> so. Yes, sir. Mm. So, uh, mm. where are you up? You know, this whole royal wedding process thing is still very confusing to me. <laughs> Snow. Come on, that is because you've not been paying attention to what happens within the world of royalty. And permit me to say, it's not cool. It's a minus for an outstanding babe like you. Check it out now. Oh, man. Oh, that's a very mild insult. Don't you think so? Uh, but, but not to worry. I'll take it because of the closeness you share with my man. <laughs> Come on, Snow. How can I insult you? How can I insult a, our beautiful wife to be? No, I did not. I'm just bothered with the fact that you don't understand the importance of a royal blessing. That's exactly why I'm asking. You know, my man actually proposed to me and I said yes. So we're getting out, man. <laughs> you know why we're not planning the wedding. I mean, the most glorious wedding of the century <laughs> yes because my friends are going to come from all over the world name them uh -huh. canada uh -huh. usa uh -huh. uk uh -huh. just say <laughs> like like they're, they're gonna be coming down here mm. to our Kokwa kingdom yes <laughs> for the wedding of snow the only snow in africa <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? It is, though. The only snow that continues to shine when everything has faded away. Say it again, baby. Uh, you see, I understand your excitement. I do. Because for me, you are marrying the best man on earth. I'm saying it. When people come, you say you are marrying Lotana, the best man yes! that they own. I'm marrying the best man in the world. The truth is that I'm not saying this because he is my friend. No, I'm saying this because he is the best. And let me tell you, anybody that finds him, Lotana, he she has found the best term in the world, and the Bible. Can attest to that. Oh, you need to come and see how I've been blowing your name. You know, I mean, like you always to... say, mm -hmm. old wine is always the best wine. I know. I brought this wine so we can celebrate this moment as we look forward to a wonderful marriage and a happy palace. Oh, what are we waiting sweetheart. for? Auntie just the best man in the whole world. Come mm. here. Mm. 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 No, no worries. Soon I'll join you people. Very soon. Very, very soon. After the blessing, and somebody has started enjoying the new wife I gave him, I just pray that person remembers this woman who started it all. <laughs> Mom. Huh? For once, I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, you, you, your, your royal majesty, even when he doesn't remember, I am going to make him remember that. What is my job? My job is to make him remember things he has forgotten. That is why I'm here. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Okay, see here you. we go. <laughs> you see, I know Ezra's means very well. I was personally involved in his emergence as king. And since then, he has been my very personal friend. There's no function in that palace she has failed to invite me to. Yes, the king is a very good man. Please, sir. Can you eat your food without trying to justify anyone? There's some people who drugged you and threw you into detention on some trumped up charges. Are the people you refer to as good? Oh, please. 
of nothing. I'm not talking about everybody. I'm talking about the king. He was the one who employed me at the palace. At a point, I became afraid as it appeared that he was aiming at something different. But he was genuine. He is a good man. I know what I'm saying. And I was wondering why he did nothing when they threw you out of that palace mm -hmm. and could not be the place to detain you. Daddy, the king was helpless. I could see it in his eyes. I was even shocked when I saw the pictures. I mean, they looked so real. He could have done something if he could. Oh yeah. Just like Edna said, go ahead and eat your food. I have set every machinery in motion to unravel what actually happened. And if there is anyone to bring to justice, I must do that for you. You do that for me. Sir, my dear, you need to ask who your father truly is. I hate injustice in all forms, in all shades and colors. I'm already following it up. And I'm sure something must happen. Thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy your food, okay? Thank you. Beautiful people. I tell you, this is going to be the greatest wedding ever. Oh, yeah? And in view of this, I've started making special arrangements in this regard. Right now, as I'm talking to you, I've booked an appointment with the best designer in Italy. The person will be responsible for the suit we are going to wear in this wedding. Whoa! He will give us the best design ever. <laughs> Hold on. I'm not even done. I've not even started. I've also booked an appointment with the greatest designer in Spain, Barcelona to be precise. And I called her, I told her, you are going to be responsible for the wedding dress she is going to wear in the wedding. The beautiful snow that continued to shine when everything has faded away. Say it again. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, people, after this royal blessing, Lothar Nap, we are going to proceed straight to Europe for shopping. Because the king himself, your father, has promised that he is going to foot the bill. <laughs> this is wonderful. Well, well, um, well spoken, my child. Thank you. But the truth is, we are Africans. Proud ones at that. So whatever we are going to wear on my wedding day, will be made in Africa. <laughs> now, I'm of this Thank you. Thank you. I will go straight to why we are here. Royal blessings for a rigorous process that finally gave birth to a glorious selection. Her name is Snow. And I am hoping that the whiteness of her status will brighten the world of my son, the prince and heir to the throne of a copper kingdom. <laughs> Therefore, I stand on the authority of my fathers. I hereby call. Where do you think you're going? Isn't it obvious? This was not meant to be. Lutana! 
listen, please. Not today. Not, not like this. Not now. I'm begging you, please, don't, don't, don't. Please. See my, my family members, they're all here. Please, please, I'm begging you. Don't try to Tana, chill, relax. See, you need to consider the consequences of what you're about to do now. Consider it. Do you remember when I said I've made every arrangement in Spain, in Italy, the Europe? I dash you. Huh? Take her to Europe what so that? that snow can fall on you. My love, don't, don't, look, listen, don't, 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 I do not want them to meet me here, please. And who told you that anybody can hurt you while you're in the house? Listen to me, sir. I adopted you the moment my daughter told me all that you have been through. Okay? And it was because of you that I decided to punish that area commander that condemned the queen to throw you out of the palace. You are free now. You have your life. Don't let anybody or anything intimidate you, Sarah. I remember and I know everything you did for me. And I will appreciate you forever. You are now like a father to me. Then listen to him and stay. Rushing back to Nando will not solve anything. Exactly. You have your life to live, Sarah. And the place you saw back there, was already going on with his life. And now why are you sounding this way? Why are you sounding as if you didn't see what happened there? Our arrival interrupted what they were doing. And that's exactly what I planned to achieve. I wanted to know whether that young man truly loves you. I want to know whether he had a hand in the plans to throw you out of that palace. But see now he left everybody, the wife to be, and all that are gathered his parents to come after you. Shows that he has been looking for you. Stand up, stand up, stand up, my dear. Listen, I want to advise you. Give that young man a chance, please. Um, I'm sorry, sir. I, I can't face him right now. The burden of what happened is still very fresh. I'm going back to my village is the only thing on my mind right now. I wholly appreciate your influence in my life. But I'm sorry, I have to leave. Dad, we cannot stop her if she wants to go. I feel her frustration and I know she will find her bearing with time. Do you know me? As in, do you know the man that is sitting by beside you? Uh, with all due respect, sir, I know you as Sir Leonard Okeke, the reputable lawyer of Akokwa, that later became a judge. Presently, you are Justice Leonard Okeke. Quite impressive. Can you explain why I came with a young lady from Nando to your place today. I mean, Sarah Kwanando. I, I, I can't explain, sir, but the truth is, Sarah came into my life when I was depressed, down, and emotionally traumatized. In fact, she revived me. She brought back life. I know all that already. Because she has told me a lot about you. But let me ask you, if you love her that much as you have professed, why did you betray her? Sir, I, I didn't betray her. I love her from the depth of my heart. To the extent that I rejected all my mother planned, even all the ladies she brought for me, I rejected them all because of Sarah. 
But, sir, please, can we not go into all that? I'm here to see Sarah. I need to reconcile with her. I have heard all that you went through. How you nearly went into depression because of what your father did that led to the untimely exit of your lovely wife. Yes, sir. I also lost my lovely son along the line. But that's all in the past. I need to see Sarah, please. I actually asked the gate man to open the gate for you. Because somehow I feel your frustration. And I want to help you. Thank you, sir. So please, where, where can I see Sarah? I need to see her. Sarah is not here now. Yes. She has gone back to Nando. Are you serious? And if you must see her, then get ready to go to Nando. Please, sir, where exactly in Nando? I can leave first thing tomorrow morning. Is just because of me. Sarah, I am so sorry. I am so ashamed of myself. I, I have failed you as a father. Hey, I am just praying and hoping you will find a place in your heart to forgive and to forget. Father, it's okay. Really. I mean, those things are all in the past, you know. I mean, we still can't deny the fact that this whole experience has made me become a better person. Mother, take a look at me. I am different now. Yes, like mother. Yes. Um, Father, I, I need to see my course. This night? Yes. Why would you think of seeing my course after all the things he did to you? Father, that is the reason I need to see him. I need to ask him questions. I need to know why he did whatever he did to me. Unfortunately, Marcos is not in this land. For since he left, even before you, nobody has sighted him anywhere in this kingdom. So you don't need to risk yourself going to see Marcos this land. He does not exist. So where could he be? Where? Nobody knows. And do yourself a favor, forget Marcos. Can't you just go inside and uh, think of how you can take your shower, freshen up? Forget Marcos. Welcome.
Yes, young man. Who are you and what you want to do, my daughter? Sorry I barged into your compound this way. My name is Lotanna. Prince Lotanna of Agoba. I believe you gave him my address. It's not me, it's that. I told him not to give him. I don't know how Lotana managed to convince him. Well, all thanks to you guys, I am standing behind my house right now. How could you do that, Edna? I'm so sorry, Sarah. But that is not enough to get you this agitated. What's going on there? Not the one, eh? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Well, your sorries would help me right now. For the very first time, a credible man is coming to look for you and you run to behind the house. What's been of this? My father, is he gone? How can he go? I understand that he's the prince of Akopwa Kingdom. Oh. And from the look of things, he has come to apologize to you for what they did. Why are you standing here? Let's go see him. My father, I won't see him. Why? I won't. I can't see him. Just tell him to go. Tell him I traveled yesterday. You what? You want to make me to start telling some sheep lies? The same person that saw you running into, into this place? That you can tell him that you're not here? That you travel? How can I say that? Okay, Let's go. Father, I cannot see him. Just try and figure out something to tell him. I am not going to see him. Don't even try to convince me. I won't. Make sure he leaves, please. Young man, I'm afraid the way things are now. You may have to go and come back some other time. I tried everything possible to explain things to her, but it is very obvious that she's still very angry with you. I don't know what her reasons are, but we cannot keep talking. So uh, the best thing is for you to go and uh, make her come some other time in the future and come back again. Thank you, sir. Your message is clear, but help me pass this message. Tell Sarah that I am very, very sorry for everything. But the truth is, I love Sarah and I will never give up on her. Sarah, do you hear that? I love you, Sarah, and I will never, ever give up on you. Good day, sir. Makani hunanya kasifini leo Omoni hurunanya Apu obye kolugi nenu Asime buoni hurunanya Ogadigi ko wage aguo
So you've taken it today. Because that is the only thing stimulating you. To think you can set my car, please. Do you know how much I bought this? Whatever! Whatever! Do you know do you know if I sell you to Ogwego people? The money I will realize that you cannot even buy this car. Come here. Tell me! Tell me! Just because I stopped to say hi to you, this is what I get. What do I so say? I cannot stop to say hi to you. What do I have to do with you? What do you have to do with me? Yes! Uh -huh. You people, you people uh, uh, asked me to betray my sister, promising me five million naira. Eh? I betrayed my own sister from the same land in Nando. A land of peace and progress. What did I get from you? You, you planted no rubbish into my room. I call me a thief. Oh yes, I have moved on. I have moved on. Yes. Hey, hey, hey. Let me move body. Um, Marcos, uh, relax. Who are we fighting? I did not stop for us to start fighting. Remember, we are friends. You know, I don't look for trouble. I did not stop to start looking for trouble. I only stopped to say hi. See, you know, God works in a mysterious way. God has a reason he asked me to, to follow this route because he knows I was going to run into you. Now, now, I know you have something to tell me, but... Can I buy you a drink? I know you like me. Can I buy any type of drink you want to do? I'll buy you. Uh... Oh, sir! Why are you doing this? Father, you won't understand why I'm doing this. But I have to go. But I promised this young man that I was going to talk to you. I asked him to go and come back. The more reason I have to leave, Father. I have saved my number in your phone. I'll call you and I'll try to keep in touch more often. Okay. Where exactly are you going? You are going back to the judge or back to your new friend? What? Don't worry about me, Father. I will be fine. And please, if Lutana comes back here, please do not give him audience. I'll call you. The only good man? Just as I started to think that she has changed back to her mother. Mm -hmm. She has turned to a different thing entirely. Marcos. I am not going to call you names. But you should know deep down in your heart, you are a big fool. No, no, no. You are a big fool. Oh, good Jane. See, I've been trying to see Sarah ever since. And I apologize to her for what I did. I feel very bad now. Everything was a setup by, by the Queen and Snow. I'm telling you, they were the ones that gave me the juice that was dropped. I did everything as instructed. But then, what did I get? I got nothing. You got nothing because you are a fool. And because you are a very uh, greedy man. Oh, they call it a game. Shut up. I was trying to know the type of game. Whether if it is, you know, or, or... Marcos, or, will you or, shut up your mouth? I'm going to call the branch now. I'll invite him over here. 
When he comes here, are you going to repeat everything you've told me in his presence? Why not? Why not? If telling him all that I did to her will solve any problem, then I, I, I will do it. I will do it. Provided you must assure me uh, that he will not try to arrest me. Eh? Eh? Don't worry, he will not arrest you. Yeah, hello, Lutana. Of the four maidens Miss Henrietta brought here, after my investigations, you seem to be the only genuine one. Excuse me? Mother, you got me investigated. Exactly. Snow Nkemchika Anene, daughter of Chief Emeka Anene, CEO Annex Brewers. Right? Right. Good. So, why then are you saying all this to me? I believe you're civilized enough to know when the deal is up. When the deal is up? What does that mean? I'm of the opinion that we have lost this battle already. Even the area commander told me point blank that he's expunging himself from the process. And with that, my cover will be blown. So we are ending it up now. I believe that a good man will, have, will definitely come your way again. Never. Yes. Never. Like you rightly talked about civilization. I can be civil enough to lose my man to a woman of class and not a classless nonentity from Nando or wherever. I will not. No, I won't. So, what do you intend to do? Remember a renowned judge has taken her in as a daughter. Nonsense. Nonsense. Ara nonsense. I don't care who takes her in or whatever. I don't care. Listen to me, mother. I will fight this battle. I sure will. I will fight it to the very end. I will. I won't give up. You told me yourself that winners don't quit. I don't intend to quit. So I will not. Listen, you are a good woman, a very good woman. I want to be where you are. I want to carry your grandchildren, bear them for you, watch them grow. I want to be a wife to your son. Please let me, please. I gave you more the information I have about you. But I didn't know he would take the pains of traveling all the way to Nando to see you. He came to my father's compound and actually threatened to keep coming until I give him audience. And then you ran back to this place. Sarah, why can't you give that young man a second chance? From my experiences in this life and from all I have seen so far, that young man loves you. And I believe he means well. No, my father has joined the league. Can we have this discussion without anybody mentioning love? The word love does not exist. And I will appreciate it if we read this topic. Well, let me give you a shock, my dear. My darling daughter, love truly exists. Love is the strongest emotion anyone can feel. Especially when it is real. For that young man to abandon all the women and the women, the very wife that the mother picked for him, and travel all the way to Nando in search of Sarah, it shows absolutely that he loves you. He is real. And I maintain you give him a chance. Please. 
Miss Harita, you should be talking about the issue on ground. Why are you not talking about that? Oh, you want to tell me you don't know the reason I'm here? Among all the things I ever claimed to be, a psychic is never one of them. So, young lady, I cannot know why you're here unless you let me know. Well, I'll tell you. The process you set up was a very fraudulent one. You even went as far as collecting bribe from some of the girls you brought, Miss Henrietta. And now, let me ask you. Why in this world would you expose a lady in my class to such level of ridicule? Listen, the Queen Mother confirmed to me that you were the one she wanted for the prince. She confirmed that you exhibited the quality and the class. Mm -hmm. And what did she do? She abandoned you for some local, irritating and village, dirty looking girl. Can you readily define the term local girl? Let us not talk like unintelligent people. Efforts were made to make you the queen of Akokwa. But it did not work out. Can't you learn how to live with it? Never. I won't. I am not known for failure. So there is no way I am giving up on this. No, I will fight it till the end. So what are you going to do? Kill the innocent girl that came into the palace by divine providence? Because you want to be queen at all costs? Miss No, can you stand the after effects? Can you? Just when I was about to be the chosen. And this is happening to me. I don't get it. Why? Why? Put yourself together. Just put yourself together. No move on. You may be consumed if you go into this battle. Let this light. And I can assure you that your man will come at appointed time. Let it be. Let it be. Please. I know what the love is. I've been in love before. I went to prison because of love. Don't say it as if I'm dismissing you. But please, don't talk to me about love. Because love as a topic deeply puts me off. But love is the only thing that can heal me now. I've come to realize that Sarah is all I need. Without her, I am ruined. Hello? Am I communicating? You proposed to that young woman. You gave her a ring. You presented her to your parents as your choice of wife. Why then did you connive with the useless area commander to destroy her? Listen dear, no matter how I try to explain this, you will never understand. But please, Sarah is all I need in my life now. If you can help me see Sarah today, I will appreciate it for the rest of my life. Please. Mm. 
Why in this world did I agree to go back to that palace? They already ranked me an immoral woman. They threw me out, connived with police officers, and sent me to detention. Why did I finally accept to go back there? Yes, who's there? Excuse me. What are you doing here? How did you get in here? Sir, please. Calm down and hear me out. I am not here as the prince of Akopa Kingdom. I am here as that young man whom you saved from evil and depression. Please. I am ready to right my wrongs. I beg you. But um, do you know what I went through? Do you know I was drugged by your mother? Labeled an immoral woman. Thrown out of the palace. I was chilled. Sarah, I know all that. My mom has realized how foolish and stupid she was. Even the area commander that jailed you has been demoted. All the forces that fought you are all down, but you are still standing tall. It's for a purpose, Sarah. Please, I beg you, let my go be my love. Like I said before, I'm ready to right our wrongs. Please. Sarah, please, will you marry me? I am still talking and you're holding him. Will you take those filthy hands off my son? Keep it low, woman. I will let you go on one condition. What? Come give me a hug. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, my princess. I love you too, my prince. <laughs> Mama, we're not going to investigate this place. Yeah. <laughs> 